Three, Six. two, one. Hey. On today's news. Hey, laser beam Robbie. Hello, and welcome to the Mint Potion Arts and Cracks 40k hobby stream. Indeed. How are you welcome. doing, Preston? I'm doing well. How are you, Bennett? I'm doing great. All right. I haven't seen you in such a long time. I, I feel like I long. haven't been hanging out with you all morning. I know. It's just... Because I was in the other room waiting for this to begin. Right. It's been like at least... we got to get your makeup on. Oh, yeah. I'm looking a little pasty. You know, I actually did my hair today. I was like, you know, I think I... Um, cause I'm going to be on camera for a couple hours. I should like put some gel in my hair. Yeah. Yeah, I, I did too, actually. I, uh, I look like I'm electrocuted. Yeah, I took this hat and I did this. That's how I did my hair. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think it really worked for me. Cool. So what are we doing today? 40K stuff. Usually we paint. Usually. Usually somebody's painting. Mm. Uh, Steven's not here with us. He's got other stuff to do. Mm. Um, important things. Um, but... Um, I am the best. Thank you. We're just going to be kind of assembling and talking about stuff. Yeah. I just built like a new army this week. Like during the week, I was like, I'm going to take all this stuff off my shelf and like finally put it together. So I built this just gnarly Imperial Guard army here that I have laid out and I'm finishing it up today. And that's like a full army minus... Uh, one character, which we're going to get to in a bit, and I'm going to be putting it together. Mm. Um, but uh, maybe I can adjust this a little bit. Whoa, yeah, crazy wacky camera. Some barrel rolls with the camera, that's good. This thing's it's gotta expensive. Be yeah. All right. Matt, don't come into the door and shoot us. <laughs> All right. So, cool. so yeah, uh, I'm going to be finishing up this, and I'll talk about it in a bit. Um, there's a lot of... Did you... I don't think you heard about the news of 40K. They talked about like a potential possibly 8th edition or a General's Handbook. A General's Handbook? Yeah, you know how Age of Sigmar has a General's Handbook? No. So they talked that. about the future of 40K. And they brought up a couple points. They mm. want to change like deep striking rules. They want to bring back move speed. Really? Yeah, so okay. things will have different move speeds, maybe. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. They want to incentivize... Uh, Winning? Fluffy play. Fluffy play. Yeah, yeah, so you're not bringing, like, a Canaptic Harvest and a Riptide Wing, you know? Right, right, right. They want you to play with the story. Right. Okay, okay. Um, cool. And they talked about... Um, what else? The, oh, uh, armor save modifiers? Modifiers? So things... It's not just, like, the same armor save system. I guess what they... they this is, like, basically a bullet list from Adepticon. So they didn't really go into detail. Um, but I imagine it's so some weapons are just good against specific things. Ah, okay. So okay. like maybe this is really good at taking out jump infantry or bikes, or this is good at taking out armor, but it's maybe just because it has a high strength or something doesn't mean that it's, you know, I don't yeah. know exactly what they mean, but that was their hint. And also they announced Death Guard, the Nurgle. Yes, I saw that. Yes. That I did see. That so was that was exciting. Cool. Yeah. I'm not a big chaos guy, but it's always uh, fun when new armies come in. And we had like three or four armies last year, and they just keep rolling them out, you know? So that's yeah. always... Uh, yeah, I've got my eye on that Sorry, called Mechanicus. That's what you want to do next, yeah. huh? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Go from town. Uh, speaking of Skatari and Colt Mechanicus, uh -oh. you oh know boy. what I bought today? You have something for us? What did you buy today? Share I didn't buy you. anything today. You actually. did buy something today. Oh, I did. I bought Citadel Glue. Here we go. Citadel Glue. He bought some Citadel glue. What is what is this? What is this? What camera are we going to? He what, bought is, what is going on here? We're fighting with our. Who's editors. going? What, what, we we got we got drunk people working the TriCaster. Um. So yeah, I got Citadel glue. That's super exciting, right? Oh my gosh, what is going on here, Mister Slippy Fingers? I'd rather look at my army right. myself, but yeah, look at that. Yeah. That looks just way better. Yeah. But what I so bought. Okay. Go for it. Yeah, show us. You got more Speaking of Skatari, is I actually have Belisarius call Ooh, right Belisarius. here. But I actually bought this box for the last piece of my army. I want my main centerpiece and my character to be Celestine, which is this nice winged, oh, it. winged lady there with her guards. So I'm, I haven't opened this box yet. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm really excited. Box. Open the box. <laughs> Open the box. What's in the box? So, uh, actually, where's the book? So, 
Yep, I'm, book. I, I built book too. So I yes. Oh, so see, Gathering Storm one and Gathering Storm one. These line up. So I actually have the rules for all these right here. Storm one. Oh wow. Yeah. Roman numerals. Roman numerals in the forty-first millennium. Wow. All right. All right. So um, this is very exciting. And this talks actually about the fall of Cadia. And here I am with a bunch of Cadians, which I've rescued after Cadia exploded. Um, and I'm starting an army based off the formation in the back, which is right here. This is the Castellans of the Imperium Detachment. And what this does is this is like my dream army. Uh, and I'm currently like my hardcore painting project is Space Marines. But it takes me so long to paint a unit that I like never make any progress and can't really play and enjoy it. So I'm like, I'm going to take all my Cadians and put them together. And um, what this formation lets you do, it lets you play Assassins, Space Marines, Imperial Guards, Sororitas, Inquisition, the Imperial Agent stuff, which is like the Sisters of Battle. Isn't Assassinorum their own thing too? Or? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. oh, I got some in my nose. Oh, I got plenty of stuff in my nose. I'm like I'm itching really here. trying to be polite here. Imperial Knights, Tempestus Scions, you know, I said Space Marines, right? Mm. Into one formation. Mm. So what I wanted to do was maximize on troops because this formation, when something, when a troop choice dies, I roll a D6. And on a five or better, comes back to life. Comes back to life. Goes into ongoing reserve, yes. Okay, okay. Right. Um, now, do you have to roll to bring them back on the table? Do I have to roll to bring... No, it's ongoing reserve. They automatically come in next turn. On your table? Yeah. That's dope. Or I guess from wherever their deep strike rules, if they have deep strike or... Oh. Let me just use the normal That's kinda rules slinky. for reserves. All right, yeah. Yeah, what about it? So the color of your soul takes okay. Oh, dude. Not everybody's balls drop at the same time. You're yelling at... You guys need a mic in there, man, so, so yeah. they can hear us. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is hatred. Everything hmm. in this detachment gains hatred, which is uh, like re-rolls on the first turn of close combat. Towards a specific entity, or no? That's general. It's just that's general not chosen hatred. like yeah, hatred. It's not yeah, a yeah. hatred specific. Oh, uh, okay, that's cool. Uh, that's cool. So I'm playing only troops and like three HQ choices. So basically, uh, everything's gonna come back to life, and including Celestine, which she's amazing. Two hundred points. Okay. Wow. She has a weapon skill and ballistic skill of seven. Right. She's seven. 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 Wow. Seven. Uh, wow. Strength and toughness three, but her strength really in close combat is five because her weapon is plus two armor bane. So strength five. You know. Master crafted. What does that do? Reroll once. Oh, okay. Okay. Even like, though she's weapon skill seven, doesn't that allow? No, no, that's not how that works. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about something else. Reroll once. Reroll once. But it's armor bane, so she can take out tank. For sure. Like pretty. Is she eternal warrior? She is. So she can't be insta killed. So she can't be toughness doesn't killed. really matter. She has adamantium will. Uh huh. Uh, five wounds. Initiative seven. Five attacks. <laughs> uh, leadership ten and a two up save. The biggest thing about her is when she dies, her miraculous check, intervention check. rules. That's she working takes good a leadership now. Test. Yeah. And when she dies, you put a marker down on the table, and she takes a leadership test. If she passes it, which is a 10, which means you roll two uh, dice, and if you get word. 10 or less, you're oh, fine. That's, mm -hmm. that's really she comes back to life with all her wounds within what one inch of that counter. Dead body. Even her, leadership ten. her her homies that hang out with her, uh -huh. whenever one of them dies, uh, at the start of each of your turns, set up a single slain uh, Gemini Superior. Anywhere within okay. two inches of her. So when one of these die, Hold on, let me get that. you just bring it back to life. Hello. And this is, so this is the kind of woman you have pride bringing home oh, yeah. to mom. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Like, you're just like mom. She can't die. Definitely. Okay. Right. Definitely. Okay. And then yes, um, what's the other big thing about her? She has an orbital strike, a one use only, 8-3 blast, which is pretty good for clearing uh, things out. She has a, oh, 
So these automatically pass lookout sirs. Uh, okay. So, um, or they don't automatically pass lookout sirs. It's not exactly the same. Uh, she can't take wounds until they're dead, basically. Okay, okay. Resolve any she wounds suffered by wounds. Celestine against one of... Now, how many wounds do these guys have? Three and, or five and two? Yeah, they have two wounds each. So you have to oh go boy. through four wounds. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, boy. This is like... Oh boy. My centerpiece for this army. So I need to adjust my list for my army list? here because I've made some changes since Delete I decided you. last night at midnight <laughs> at the that 11th hour uh, what I wanted to do with this army. So I made a couple changes. I was running a chapter master from Iron Hands before. Too. And I ran it with the medic pack. And I thought, you know, the orbital bombardment's pretty good. I want a tank for my master of ordnance in the back. But what I decided to do was change it. Uh oh, Angel. to something way cooler. Oh, here comes the cheese and butter. So we're gonna use there are very few butter. unique HQ choices that you can take with um, with this formation with this list. But okay. one of the things that's pretty consistent mm -hmm. are Black Templar HQs. Any Black Templar HQ. Basically, any Black, Black Templar, Templar unique mm -hmm. hero, which is in my Space Marine Dude, book, uh oh, is like ready for you to take here unlike there's no ultramarines there's none of the other guys there aren't even only other the black guys. templar guys just the black templar. are only the black templar uniques are in there in the space marines i mean you could have some of the oh, guards yeah, there's, guys there's, you know there's and whitaker celestine yeah, go ahead. Whitaker, right? all right so uh i found a very interesting one and that. unfortunately, he was sold out oh, on their website, mm. on the Games Workshop website, because the minute I figured this out, I went to buy them. But they didn't have it in stock, so I kitbashed one, and I made a Chaplain Grimaldus. And this is my kitbash Chaplain Grimaldus. I don't know he's a Black Templar that. Chaplain. Wow. And he's the only Space Marine in my army, and he's also my Warlord. Specifically okay. for his warlord. Is that trait. a book on his back? Yeah, it's a book on his back. Wow. He's, what if his dudes like get distracted while reading? Probably well, spends a lot of time in spaceship flight. I need yeah, something to gotta grab it. Okay. Anyway, <clears throat> so he has a master crafted plasma pistol. So he rerolls once. He's not mm -hmm. gonna get hot that easily. Uh, he has three he's wounds on a three-up save. He has it will not die, so he gains his wounds back. And you know, uh, zealous, so is Lel. zealot, a Rosarius. So I guess a he has Lel. a four-up invul save. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um, but what sold me on this guy was and his I warlord trait, Rites of War, make a which is a Space Marine warlord trait. That looked hmm. like the army on the. Box. Now, hopefully, I read this correctly and I don't embarrass myself. What do we got here? Two friends. She's a mercy. I need. Healing, I feel like all the figures will just come alive and start attacking them. Yeah, probably. Yeah. <clears throat> That's why I keep my figures uh, lock and key, because I don't need to wake up with fire warriors with a pulse rifle in my nose. And I guess the other thing is he has Crusader and Adamantium yeah, will, out of, because he's a Black Templar tactic Everyone's guy. Just yeah. waiting for their turn um, to speed. So, you know. But anyway, his warlord trait, Rites of War. Yeah. All models in your yeah. warlord's detachment... Okay, so that's everybody. That's because More he's. this one. is the mixed formation. Right, 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 right. right. Yes. Test at his leadership value in place of their own. He's right. leadership 10. Oh, okay. Yes. So okay. that I makes all these that. nice little veterans that are like leadership 7, I guess 8 with the sergeant. They're now, everything's leadership 10. Somehow. That's, that's great. His guardsmen tend to run away every once in a while. That's Very frequently. Yeah. Or get pinned. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. You know, now it's leadership 10, Good. everything, as long as this guy's alive. So I need to keep him alive. Right. So now, I really need to distract And Celestine him. can't bring him back. Celestine cannot bring anybody back. Now, why back. is that? Why can she not bring him back? Because, um, you mean this, for, like, why is he the only guy that can't come back to life? Right, hold? right, right. Because he's an HQ choice. This, oh. the, it specifically says here, flock to the front oh. lines. Each time a troops unit from this detachment is completely Every destroyed, roll a D6. On a five it's up, like, you immediately place a new unit into ongoing reserves that is identical in terms of the original of number, mm -hmm. points, mm -hmm. upgrades. Mm -hmm. Everything's a troop. Mm -hmm. I have four veteran squads, chimeras, uh, mortar teams, and an infantry platoon over here. Mm -hmm. And then I have, so this unit also will not come back to life. Uh, all right. So that won't come back to life. This won't guys. come back to life. All Technically, right. Celestine wouldn't, but except for her special rule, she'll right. come back to life. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of this Imperial Endless Swarm. I like that. That's yeah. great. It's a bit of Necron, a bit, uh, bit of Tyranid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
Yeah. Kind of all mixed and mashed. I like that. So oh. I freed up some points. My original list, I had like two units of Scions. And uh, I took those out. I took out the Chapter Master. Because my my leadership was so high, I had a Lord Commissar, which would do the same thing, but it was only a six inch bubble. Mm. So he was gonna go with the veterans and stick together and try to give them the leadership, but I took him out. My I ended up having so many so points high. from taking Death those things out told me to um, that I was like, oh, I have, I was like 220 points. What do I wanna take? So I was like, well, let's take Celestine. You know, and I was like, that yeah. seems like the best option. Yeah. I was trying to figure it out. I was like, maybe I want to take some tactical squads, really play the troops thing up. Maybe I want to take some tanks. Mm -hmm. Like, I was like, oh, I could play like three Predators <clears throat> or something. Yeah. And I was like, no, you know what? I'm going to play Celestine. She's just the type of thing to draw fire and kick ass that I need to keep kind of my main force alive. Because these veterans are expensive. These are not cheap veterans at all. These are a 10-man squad. There are three plasma guns on them. How many points is in? How many points is just one of these guys worth? I have battle scribe on my phone. Let's battle. Like, let's battle scribe it. Let's battle scribe it. Let's do it. Battle scribe. Bloop beep bloop a deep up. So, um, battle scribe. I'm on my kill team list here. Hmm. He's telling me that you want to know with the dedicated transport or without the dedicated transport? Without, because, you know, just cause so we can get to see, see what it's like if somebody wa didn't want to put them in a transport for some strange reason. They just wanted that. Okay, well, yeah. so what they have is it's a veteran squad. Okay. They have the demolitions tactic. Which is? The guy with the briefcase. With the briefcase, right. So, so I, I, I kit bash yeah. these. They're, yeah. They have the demolitions charge. One yeah. use only, six inch. Large blast. Yeah. Your typical, eight, two. typical he just throws like low the level case. Yeah, yeah. He throws the briefcase. He tries to get in close. Chucks the briefcase. It also gives the whole squad melt -a bombs to take out other dedicated transports. Very cool. Very cool. Uh, so this unit. Plasma guns. One, two, three. Three plasma three guns. Three plasma guns. We have Demolitions. one, two, three, four, five, five guys with las guns. Las, las, guns. las guns. And then we have a sergeant here. Yeah, 150 and points. 150 points. From the normal, what is it, like 70, 60 points for veterans? That's I think it's a lot of points, points for troops. I basically, you know what, because I came from playing Tyranids, and I said, well, the Termagants are, like, no good unless you double their cost, right? So right, like, right, right. What happens if I double the cost of veterans? You mm. know, like, what can I really do with, like, this unit that people don't really play? And I'm not into tanks. Yeah, 60 points. So I, I more than doubled them. Okay. But okay. I think... I think they'll be fine. So you're like a walking librarius over here. Okay. Like a, you're just <laughs> pulling books out of the blue. Yeah, I got a lot of books. I love the books. Um, so, yeah, that's my, um, that's kind of my list. So four of those uh, squads of veterans, I have five mortar teams. So the other cool thing, right, mm. is I've taken on my sergeant. Here. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, okay. Now, that's not a commissar. No, he's not a sergeant. He's actually a company commander. Company commander. Okay. So he, he balances the books. He keeps everybody on payroll. Dude, he's happy. really fancy. He's the only one in a hat. Everybody else has a helmet or he his does have a hat. He actually yeah. has a hat and probably some yeah. hair under there. He's, yeah. And he has a stick and he's pointing at things because that's his job is yeah. to point at things. Point at things, yeah. And be like, yeah, that's yeah. got a... You get promoted enough, you get to point at So the things. company command squad is 60 points, right? Six 60 points base. Base, okay, just so base. So I, I take the regimental standard, which I'm actually, is one of the things I'm doing today, is I'm going to make another guy to replace him, because I don't need the regimental standard now that I'm running this guy. Oh, so this was the one thing that was giving you an extra leadership That was letting them re-roll their leadership tests for things within a range if they failed. Okay. But what the company commander has on him is a Heirlooms of Conquest, one of their relics. It's called Kurov's Aquila. It is Kurov's 60 Aquila. points in itself. Wow. Right. That's a whole unit of guardsmen. And Base. what it does is any unit within six inches of him has preferred enemy. And he may reroll a single failed leadership test per turn. Now, do you have to preferred enemy once? No. Or just every time? Anything within six inches of him has preferred enemy. Okay, so whoever's in six inches, that's their preferred enemy. No, they just have preferred enemy. So that means they reroll ones to wound. 
Oh. So I surround this squad and mortar teams. Right. And I try to just precision shut out because they're <clears throat> mirage. Okay. So, you know, you'll remove models from the center of the template. Mm -hmm. I try to precision shut out special weapons, sergeants, you know, thinning them out mm -hmm. of things that are really hard hitting. Okay. Like if there's a unit of five tactical marines and one guy has a plasma gun, mm -hmm. I'm trying to land it on that plasma gun. Right, 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 right. So then I remove the plasma gun and it's not such an obstacle. Yeah. They're not like thinning out my dudes. Right, right, right. So re-rolling ones because it's strength four, no AP, like AP six. Um helpful yeah yeah that that certainly yeah. it actually increases the odds and the efficiency of mortar yeah yeah um yeah this army is really nice i like the way you're putting it together i mean so i just finished putting wow. it together like yesterday but i'm still not done so i gotta replace the regimental standard okay i gotta replace this with another guy mm -hmm. um I like them though. I think if you he paint, looks really cool. Yeah, I mean, like if, you, if I'm anything, keep them because paint I'm them not and, gonna play yeah. Grimaldus as I keep building my Space Marines. Right, right. I'll right, probably right. take Grimaldus out, and then I'll wanna still do this, and then I might not even play the mortars. Yeah. I mean, I have them built. He's useful. Yeah. Oh, there's also a medic in here, so I get feel no pain on this unit. Oh, very nice. So Grimaldus has feel no pain as well. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Um and. Uh, yeah, so basically the strategy is like flat out my Chimera's first turn and let you shoot at them. If you wreck it and they take a pinning test, they're testing at leadership 10, but they also have to worry about Celestine running up their ass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so yeah. it's 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 this very deceiving army, but it's it's very like born from tactics. It's not born out of like power creeping. You know right, what right, I mean? right, 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 right. It's born out of like I have like a strategy and it's kind of like yeah. I always wanted to build guard infantry and I've been buying these boxes and just putting them on my shelf and then this week I was like, you know what? I'm going to slap them together and see what I got. Yeah. And I yeah. actually have, you well, know, yeah. this is 1850 points almost exactly uh, once I get Celestine together. But because of my changes, I did have an exact 1850 list, uh, which is a pretty standard value. Mm. Um... I have a couple points to spare. And when I finish putting Celestine together and replacing that guy, I'm going to figure it out. And I'm going to... Uh, I also have to add, What's like... What's a couple points? I, like, I think I have, like, 20 points to throw around. Oh, okay. So you can upgrade some things, maybe shuffle some things around. Yeah. That's I, nice. I might add... Uh, a little wiggle like, room is always good. Melt a bombs to sergeants, or I might add, uh, like, 200 killer missiles to the chimeras that's great yeah uh and i also have to do some touch-up work on the chimeras there's like handles and little accessories i need to glue mm. on um but uh yeah very cool what are you up to today oh i'm sorry are we are we oh okay yeah uh yeah what am i doing today so, so preston plays tau yeah I know, I, i'm I, so excited i put this I play together tau. i'm like yeah. i play tau Let's get it done. I played Tau, and once I'm done uh, collecting Tau, I'm gonna go into Skitari. Yeah, no, you're, Mechanicus. He, he broke the news to yeah. me. Skitari uh, called last Mechanicus. night. He broke the news to me yeah. last night. He's like, I think I'm a tech priest, and I yeah. said, Really? Yeah. yeah. I yeah. still accept you. That's fine. In yeah. fact, we're actually we closer. Can be brothers. We can I know be we're brothers. closer than we've ever been before. I know. This is good. Uh, so we <laughs> can actually ally with each other. For sure. Um, Stomp on some noobs, just like destroy ten year old dreams. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. <laughs> so what am I building today? Today I'm going to build the Devilfish, TY7 Devilfish. Yeah. There you go. I'm going to build that guy. Um, there's going to be parts so of that. So we're not to... painting today. I know. I know. We're but once, painting. once I get this done, it's going to be nothing but painting for me. Yeah, same here. Yeah. I'm going to build another Tau Commander. All right. This guy's going to be Iridium Armor instead of the Cold Star. So I'll have an Iridium and a Cold Star. I'm going to finish building... So wait, the Iridium's the two-up save plus one toughness? Two-up save plus one toughness. That's so good. Yeah. And then the, the Cold Star is the flying one? Flying monster's creature. Do you have your codex on you? Oh, uh, yeah. It's over okay, here. Just it's just over there. I can go grab it. Okay, just, you know, we're yeah. going to have to discuss yeah. it. Yeah, well, definitely, definitely. So yeah, there's the commander. The, uh, he, that's what, the Cold what's, Star. What's he going to be... Oh, you're going to magnetize him? I'm going to magnetize him. Right. Yeah, I'm going to magnetize him. Um, and then I'm going to finish. I already built one of these at home. I wanted to, these are crisis suits. I wanted to try out the magnetization, get used to that. So I, I practiced at home. But uh, I'm going to finish the, the next two of these. And that's it. Then I'm done. All I have to do is primer them, paint them, and send them into battle. That sounds you know? great. And that's it. So that's what I'll be doing. It sounds extremely exciting. Hey, I, I want to unbox you. this triumvirate box. Crazy. Where are we here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's do that. Let's do that. What's in the box? Because my pants have been tight all day because of this. Well, 
This is really Mitsu. good. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, you know, the boxing <laughs> for this is like really nice. Oh yeah. Well, the bo I've noticed the bigger boxes, man. I, I can't throw them away. I just want to keep them. Chew on them. So, oh, be, uh, oh. Uh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. who's the witch in there? It's Inquisitor Greyfax. Greyfax. It's a psyker who's like a counter psyker. Really? Yeah. Ah, that might be good when you're playing against a certain brother of yours that plays Eldar. <laughs> <laughs> My brother plays Eldar. <laughs> I have an Eldar brother. The whole family's ashamed of so it. So look at these. Works. I saw this oh, box wow. for the for wow, the uh, dramatic, the dramatic. Eldar one, the number two box. Put that on the camera. Show that. Oh, That's yeah. beautiful. Look at that art. Wow. That is way cool. Man, she is. And really there's hard. like, these are like Inquisitors or something. Aren't those the Lords of Terra? Oh, maybe they are, yeah. I don't know. You know that stuff better than me. Yeah. You can hang. Yeah, yeah. And Callus, Ix. Melanch. 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 Melanchthon. Astronomus. You know, yeah. really just creepy, eerie. El Alberto. Human deathness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very grim dark. Very grim dark. I haven't opened this yet. So oh, boy. If I oh boy. just tear. Oh, boy. Here, let me get, move this over the side here. This is. Yeah, I can't wait for battle. You know. <laughs> We are gonna do live games on here, but we really want to get our painting. We, yeah, we want to get our painting. We want to get our armies going. We kind of yeah. have this pre be, um, be as strict as possible. Is that a? Oh, oh, oh. it's like a placemat that you don't want to eat on top of. That's it's great. paper. With that is so nice. Pretty things on it. That's worth it, even of, in and of itself. How much was this? If you don't mind me asking. Eighty dollars. Eighty dollars. Yeah. For three characters? For three characters? Yeah, but they're like the coolest characters ever. Oh my gosh, I'm getting six of these. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy three separate. They have... The third one is out. The Triumvirate of Triumvirates. Wait, with there's a Gilliman. Triumvirate of Triumvirates? Yeah, so they're like trios of unique characters. So the first one is this one, which okay. has Belisarius Call, Celestine, and Inquisitor Greyfax. Okay. And the second one is Eldar. And it's like Yanari, the uh -huh. like god of death, okay. like one of her guards, and so, I don't know. So nothing important. No, nothing. nothing important. Okay. And then the third one okay. is important. Oh. It's Robut Gilman. Gil Gilman. 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 Robut Gil Gilman. Um, the Primarch is back. The first, yeah. you know, loyal Primarch is back in the game. It's Titan, who's the Grandmaster of the Grey Knights. Okay, yes, 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 yes. And then it's Cypher, the fallen angel, oh, who okay. actually allies of convenience with both humans and chaos. He could play both sides. Interesting. Yeah, huh. really cool stuff. Really cool. Okay, so uh, we look got how it. nice this box is here. This is great. Wow. Oh, look, more wow. art. Wow. They're just all hanging out. Can I lick the sprues? Yeah. Go ahead. No. <laughs> actually, <laughs> no. No. All right. Uh, so I guess these are instructions. Something like that. Yeah, it looks like instructions. Look yeah. at this. They had 3D model them all out. They yeah. actually tell you how to build things. Instead That's of really just, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. the sprues are numbered. Yeah. The times have changed. So these are the instructions for building Belisarius Call, who's just like this really complex, uh, dope Oh, that guy model. looks so dope. Yeah. Uh, I painted a Dominus for a friend, but this guy is like Dominus times a Domi Moose. And then Celestine. Oh wow, they actually have like the rules in this book. Ah. Cool. Celestine, she's got birds and things. She is one bad mama. And her superiors. Two hundred points. Yeah, there you go. Boom. Two hundred points. So cheap. Right there. Two hundred so points. Cheap. That's just easy peasy. Wow. Was there gray packs? Which. I don't know what is what's with gray facts. Let's learn about. Yeah, it. yeah, let's learn about. It. Go for it. Weapon skill, ballistic skill four, strength, toughness, and wounds are three. Okay. Uh, three wounds for an inquisitor, I think, is good. I think they normally have wounds. Initiative four, three attacks, leadership ten, re-up save, master crafted, condemner bolt gun, and power sword. Hmm. Enemy infiltrators cannot be set up anywhere within twenty-four inches of her. That's pretty cool. That's like a little safe bubble. I like that. Um, when making Deny the Witch tests, Inquisitor Greyfax always counts as having a higher mastery level than the Psyker manifesting the power. <laughs> so they always get plus one to their <laughs> to their denies. <laughs> That's, so That's pretty I good. I love that. 
uh, <laughs> always knows the aura of oppression psychic power. Okay, okay. She may generate two more powers from a telepathy discipline. Hmm. Aura of oppression is warp charge one or three. Is a malediction that targets a single non-enemy unit within 12 inches. The target unit must immediately take a pinning test, even if the test is passed. Whilst the power is in effect, the target cannot run. Oh, even if the test is passed. So they might be pinned, but no matter what, they cannot run, turbo boost, or perform sweeping advances, or fire overwatch. Ah. Regardless if the test is passed or not. They just don't go to ground. Okay. Uh, alternatively, you can attempt to manifest this power at warp charge 3. Decide before rolling. Yeah, yeah, that's probably a good if idea. If you do so, this power affects all enemy non-vehicle units within 12 inches. Of wow. It's so you, like can just Nova. Put, you can just stop everybody in their track. Yeah. That's cool. That's pretty good. That's cool. All right. I like it. Yeah, it's yeah. like Nova Nova pin. That's yeah, yeah, always yeah. going to pin because I played a lot of pinning psychic tactics with Tyranids. Never freaking works because nothing can be pinned anymore. But yeah. now it's like, no, they still yeah, sorry. are that's, affected. That's, yeah. Oh, look. And they tell you what colors. Oh, they did. This is nice. This is like their new style. They're like, these yeah, are the paints that pretty, we use to make yeah. it pretty. Hey, let's look at Sprue. Yeah, let's look at Sprue. So I feel this, like a little girl. I want to put ribbons in my hair. This looks like... Um, <coughs> it's like every day, though. This looks like uh, the Gemini Superior, one of her supporters that follows her around. Possibly, yeah. Very nice, very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. Maybe not. This looks like right Celestine. Yeah, look at how cool those wings yeah. and that... That's going to be great to paint. That, like, that, the right, 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 shade. Right, right, That's right, right. really fun. You know what I don't like about this? What? Is the fact that she's, like, flying, and, like, the only thing holding her up are those ribbons. Hmm. I hate that. Like, I mean, yeah, that's that's going to be perilous. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. And then I think over... Oh, but... Oh, man. Call it great, though. Here's Inquisitor Greyfax? Or, no, this is another Gemini Superior. I think. Or it's... No, it's Greyfax, because that's the crossbow. Mm -hmm. And then, uh... Call Sprue takes up most of them. Very complex, like, yeah. techy sort of thing, like his weapon, and... It's, uh... Cool. It's actually really neat and organized. I thought this was going to be a lot more Just complex. Just a jumbled mess. But I'm not really worried about the rest of these. How many bases do I give you? A lot. I mean, this is Call's base, this nice big oval one. All right. And then I believe, I don't know, there's an extra base here. So I think the Inquisitor? Celestine goes on the 30, or this, what is this? A, this is a 32, so that's probably a 40. Mm -hmm. So I think Celestine gets the 40, and then her Gemini gets 32s. Okay. So let's put this away, because I don't care for these other guys for now. Who knows, maybe you can get call off me when you because I have no interest in building them I would love to build them I would love to build them that would be great that would be great but you are a pro painter so maybe we could put this guy up for uh, for auction <laughs> and try to make my money try back to on make this some box. money back on this see we're not we're not sponsored or anything we're not getting these for free you yeah. know games workshop so yeah but that's great. This is great. And I love this image in the back. Just, yeah. This is awesome. Yeah, yeah. What is that? She tears somebody's ass off of him? It looks like she just tore some ass off. She's just like, yep, that's my ass now. Uh, Look at those hips. I don't know. Man, yeah, she is a poster girl and a half. Yeah. Damn. She is. She is a poster girl of the Imperium. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I saw somebody... Does it come with the dove? Yeah, it, it does come with, with the doves. Look at that. Yeah, look. I got That's the doves awesome. right here. Wow. Doves. It does. Wow, it doves. Yeah. It the doves. It does. Nice. Her ladies are pretty cool. Her homeboys. Yeah. That's dope. Those 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 ladies are way good. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. They don't look as ugly as the We old should put her ones. on Tinder. We should. We should put her on Tinder and then show up with the model Celestine. and get free dinners. Yeah. Yeah. Great idea. I think it is. Yeah. 
So, um, what's this? Uh, so, yeah. welcome to Arts and Cracks. Now that you know what we're doing today. Oh, so who's this guy talking so much? DJ H Four Low. Is there a way to like say that? DJ like, Halo. Oh, okay. DJ Halo. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. I don't speak leet like I used to. I don't either. Actually, Ben's the one that just he just like clicked. He's like, oh, DJ Halo. I think he's just been reading chat for so long now. Right. That like DJ use, Halo. Welcome. Use your names. Don't to phase the chat. Him. Yes. Welcome. Thank you very much. For wow, coming I to watch us out. play. I'm gonna start building this. You know, these, getting into it. These sister pieces are like so much more delicate than like Space Marines. They're like everything's really. Yeah, I take. I would definitely take your sweet time on that. Yeah, and if you and can figure out, like, it'd be neat if you could figure out a way to maybe wire or something extra support there. How does that feel? Flimsy. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen the model in person. It like bounces. Does it? Yeah. Uh, I know. Well, I would brainstorm on that one. I would think with some ways to deal with that. You know what? That's gonna because think about transport. That's the thing. Like once it's on the table, it's relatively safe. Hey, you know? I have a question. I might have an answer. <laughs> because I'm a fool. A I grabbed fool. my backpack, uh -huh. ready to go. Okay. And I had a problem because see what happened was I put together my kit bashed from all this. From all this. And all my tools are on my desk at home. And my crew. <laughs> <laughs> but Grimaldus is here. Grimaldus is here. He has shown yeah. up. Uh, <laughs> and I only have one pair of snips. This is what happens when Steven doesn't show up. Steven's really good about having I, two of everything. Yeah, he does, ha he does have Let that. Let me go through um, my bag and see what I do have. Yeah. Because I have 50 paintbrushes and no paints on me today. Do you think your dad could run those up here for us? <laughs> like, he would have no problems doing that, right? Like, hey, Pops, just he's drop busy. whatever. Yeah, he's probably I got busy. some super glue. <laughs> the old, some super glue, old man which is plastic glue. I got some Citadel super glue. I'll tell you what. Let me start cutting things out of here real quick. Yeah, take a chunk out of... Yeah. Out of uh, let, me, let me get this thing <laughs> you get some pieces taken out of here damn oh you know what i have an exact done i okay well let, let me also just do this real fast I've, i don't know if i'm any good at speed cutting but we're gonna find out so what do you want to do with your army what are you doing with your what do i want to do with my army i want to make my tau a because you have like a lot of tau now i do <laughs> i do have a lot of tau now um i'm definitely gonna start getting into the auxiliaries um and I do want to get into the uh, hunter contingent. So I figured out that whole hunter contingent thing. It's very nice. It's, it's not really as restrictive as I thought it would be. It does require two two HQs, uh, but that's no big deal. Now I have two HQs. I actually have like four now. Um, I don't know. I like maneuvers. Like I like the Tau like maneuver, strike, maneuver, strike. This is your second yeah. double fish? This is my second double fish. Wow. Because I want to have... I got four chimeras before you got... I know, before I even got a second devil fish. It's almost like it's almost like I'm a loser. Oh wait, <laughs> don't answer that. Um But yeah, I wanna do a lot of maneuvering and a lot of just, you know, basically a lot of drive bys. I mean they don't have you can't drive see that's the thing I'm jealous. Because can't you shoot out of these things? Yeah, like it's ridiculous. Yeah, so you could just do drive bys all day. Yeah. You know, which is really cool. Not you really, know? they're kinda weak, but But you can drive by. Yeah, I can't. You know, I mean, that's that in and of itself is pretty hip hop. So, or as Ben would say, pretty jazz. So, I don't know. I, I, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to run up with some breachers, do some distractions with, you know, I got riptides, I got ghost keel, eventually I'll get storm surge. Kind of what you're doing, right? You have your core, this is going to be your fist, and you want things to kind of run distraction for a bit. Tough things that can take some shots. Um,. While your guys are getting into position, so that's that's where I'm going with it. To be perfectly honest, um, so and yeah, that's gonna put you at nine crisis suits, huh? Yeah, I'll, hopefully I'll be at nine crisis suits wow. by the end of this month. I'm hoping because I only have six right now, six plus the two commanders. That's you eight. call yourself a Taoist. I know, right? I'm not even remotely close to being a Taoist. Um, okay, so let me get this burst cannon out of here. All right, I'm I just, I'm just cutting these pieces off, in. and I'm not even like really putting them in any order. So let's do that. It goes here, right? Yeah, here, here, here. Yeah, actually, I think it's this way, right? It goes, yeah, it goes back seat here. So, yeah, that way. So here, here, 
I'm just going to put this in quick order here. This will be facing this way in the middle. So what do you want to do with Skitari? Okay. Talk to me about Skitari. I want to just go full machine. So I want to do Skitari. I mean, I don't own their codexes, right? So I can't really formulate anything. So that's the first step. First but what, step. Like, what units look cool to you? The what? crab, the crab crawler guys, the Onager Dune crawlers. Yeah, those okay. really tall two-legged Strider guys with the with the tech priests on them. The, the long Strider guys. The I don't know what they're called. Probably Van Striders. Vanguard. The, no, Striders. Iron Iron Stalkers. Iron Stalkers. I think. <laughs> you know, yeah. Robots. The Robbie the robot looking guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I want to throw in. What were we talking about? Was it Iron Hands? The yeah. Marines, yeah. I want to throw those guys in. So I want like super the fluffy. super mechanic nerdy part of of uh, the Imperium, all in one area. Cool. You know, and and just kind of play off of that and see where that goes. That's just, that's mad respectable. Yeah. So basically, you got a problem with your Camaro? I'll fix it. That's what's gonna happen. I'll fix it. Don't even look at me, guy. I'll just fix it for you. Okay? It's cool. You need new tires? I'll put new tires on. You want brakes? I'll give you a break. That right, sort right. of thing. You know. So basically, I'll be running like a Fiat repair center. <laughs> Pretty simple. I think. Pretty simple. Well, Fiat's the number one car choice of the 41st millennium. 41st millennium, yeah. <laughs> Fix it again, Tony. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of my my spiel. I want to get into that. And of course, once again, guess what? No psychers. No psychers. No psychers. Because you know, I don't like any of the races that are psychers, except you know for Orc. You know what? I, I like kind of like Psychers. I like Librarians in mm -hmm. the last Space Marine book because they could take Storm Shields, and now that they can't have Storm Shields, I'm not interested. It's kind of balls. I think that's um, kind of balls. Yeah, agree. it sucks. Yeah. But, and y you know what? Oh. Like, my friend was suggesting that I should take Psychers in this army. If you wish. No, I use the exact one. Oh. My friend was Psychers, huh? In this army. Yeah, yeah, for like divination. But I play against something like my brother. And I did. I had a level two librarian, mm -hmm. and he had a mastery level of ten. So I couldn't do anything. Yeah, that's kind of. I periled garbage. once. You periled? Yeah, because I had to throw all my dice to stop him from denying, so I can get prescience, like twin linked on a unit. Oh, and geez. I took a wound on my librarian that's just to like cheese ball. make guys re-roll their hits. Just cheese balls all over the place. So I'm just not in because some people when they psych they like. Psych they series. really psych out. Yeah. They really psych out. Like, yeah. my brother's a compulsive farseer fielder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, yeah. He's yeah. just maxed out in farseers for his detachment. I just, I don't know. I kind of wish there was a better, like, a, a, I don't know. When there's an army that's designed that has psychers that I like, then I'll do it. But until then, have I don't really know. Have you really looked at, like, Craft Worlds, though? That book is I have so looked nice at it. No, I have looked at it. And, and eventually, I will own every army, as we've spoken before. Right, right. Eventually there's not a I single army I don't want. Right. It's just, since I don't feel like buying all of them today. No, actually, I do. I just can't afford it. Um, I don't. After putting together these all week, I'm like, no, I don't <laughs> want another army for a while. I am exhausted. Yeah, yeah. Maybe next week. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm... Oh, I am missing a giant piece. I should play a here. game or two first. Yeah. yeah, and also, you know, I'm getting really tired of just constantly playing Tau. And the... That's how I got with my Tyranids, man. Yeah. I was like, I can't do this. Yeah, and so I figure Sk Skitari's new, monster. Paul Mechanicus is new. Um, there, which is great, because then I'm gonna, you know, in the next four years, they're probably gonna have at least two updates to it, right? They're gonna add things, change things. That's why I feel so, about my turn. It's like I need a new edition mm, of a codex to play. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm like I just can't put up with these work conditions. It's horrible. Yeah, it's just it can get pretty tough. So, um, all right, I think I can glue for a while. So if you need those, you're more than welcome to go at it. Uh, let's do some deep, deep burring. So yeah, but I, 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 I've always wanted to play as something different. I was looking at Necrons. I was seriously looking at Necrons. Um, but I just didn't feel like they had that certain je ne sais quoi, shall I say. Um, they just, eh, they didn't really tickle me right after kind of reading it up, watching some battle reports and stuff. Didn't really like it. So then I decided, well, wait, who is this that you didn't like? T uh, not the turn. It's the, uh, Necrons. I just yeah, you you were into Necrons. I, I just, they're boring. Yeah. they don't really have like that, like oh that's awesome like sort of rules. They're just really 
Lord. Yeah, when they first came out, they had awesome rules because they were unique and they had some rules that other other races didn't have and they were doing things that other races couldn't do. How do you play do. Gene Stealer Cults, man? You know, I thought about Gene Stealer Cults, but then again, uh, it's, so just, cool. it's just, uh, it's just kind of hum Hume Tyranids. And I was like, well, but then I then I looked at the I looked at the the Skitari and Cult Mechanicus models, and oh, that's yeah. the thing, is I'm really about aesthetics. I mean, I don't want to sound like a total little girl about this whole thing, but I'm just gonna be a little girl about this. I'm gonna be a bit of a princess and say they gotta look good on the table, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, um, that's why you like your tail. Yeah, because they I look know great. that's like what sold you on them. Yeah. They look great. I like giant robots. I watch way too much anime for a grown man. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um, in fact, there's probably a couple Forge World models. Probably a couple Topless Tau that I'm going to buy. Just those because. Forge World. Those are the War oh, Game exclusives. War Game exclusives. Right, right, right. I'm probably going to get a couple of those. Just to kind of, you know, mix things up and be a little unique. Um, just a little unique. Topless Tau boobies. Blue boobies are always good. Bluebies. Bluebies. The bluebies. You get the bluebies. You know, that completes your army. So, yeah, I'll get some bluebies. And, uh, yeah. Then it's Skitari all the way. Cool. Yep. And I get to be, like I said, and then it's kind of like my step into the Imperium. Which is just a whole smorgasbord, a veritable cornucopia. It's a lot of stuff. Right, right. You know? And so I'm going to definitely get into that. Um, I've always liked Space Marines, but I've never been able to settle on a chapter. I know I can make my own chapter. But you my own. have to pick a tactic. Yeah, yeah. And I just, uh, you know, so I think going with Skitari, using the Iron Hands or Iron Fists, or the Iron Hands of Fists. Fluffy. Fluffiness. Fluffy's a great way to start an army. And you know like me, this I'm army is like super fluffy. Right, and it's like, it's really like. Did you expect to win? Yeah. No, not every time, no. And you know me, I'm super into the fluff. Right. Like, I'm really into the fluff, and I think that's what really drives me to continue not only playing, but also to expand more. Um, when there are new units, I always... It's weird, I, when there are new units, I don't even read their stats. I just go right to the story, and I'm like, okay, that guy sounds like a badass. What are his stats? You know? So, like the Storm Surge. They're like, oh, yeah, he has to go to a special pilot school, and he has to, like... You know, train with, you know, Tom Cruise and, you know, they have to learn to take off and test the new jet and stuff. And you're like, that's cool. That's really cool. And then you find out that, like, their weapon skill is nothing as always, but that they have, like, every gun in the Tau Army. And I'm like, okay, I'll buy a Storm Surge. <laughs> right? I'll do that. I will buy Surge. Surge. And, yeah. Surge. And what's great is every single one of the monstrous creatures in the Tau Army have this rule that I'm going to go over here and off camera. <laughs> Probably pass gas when I get up because I'm old. Um, here we go. What do they have this thing? Here it's called. Well, balls is just, you know, didn't even come close to turning the right page. Uh, is that me? I think the phone's ringing. Yeah, my phone's ringing. I'm not going to answer it at the moment. Because it doesn't. Oh, no, I have to. Hold on. Sorry, guys. This is about my car. There. <laughs> Turn your mic off. So anyway, I'm trying to figure out. I always love assembling these unique characters. They have really interesting bits. It's not like Space Marines, you know, but they're just like arm, shoulder pad. Like you never know what pieces put where. And these days, the new uniques are just so creatively assembled. So they just get so much detail you would just never see on normal models because they plan them and design them really well. Car, because I got rear-ended on the way to San Diego. The body shop says it will be ready tomorrow at 8 a.m. Yay! Hooray. So I get my Honda back. I mean my Ferrari. I mean my crisis suit. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I was looking something up in here. The gargantuan creatures. The monstrous creatures. They have something called fire team. And that's whenever you have three in a unit, they get plus one to their ballistics. So you're going to play three storm surges? Storms? I'm a 
three storm surges, three ghost kills, and three riptide. That would be so unfair. That would be stupid. That's a lot of wounds. That's 15, uh, 18, 33. It's only nine years. 33. Hold on. 33. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hold that number in your head, old guy. 33. That's 24. That's 57. That's 57 wounds. That's pretty good, actually, for nine units. Yeah, that's 57 that's wounds. That's not a bad... Uh... Well, it's, it's three units, because you can have up to three in a unit. Right. So that's Oh, three... it's only three units. Yeah, it's only three so units. So they're going to take... Yeah, yeah, targeting them is pretty easy. Never yeah, mind. yeah, yeah. It's going to be pretty easy. But they're monstrous creatures. Gargantuan creature with the storm surge, you so die. you get that automatic feel no pain. It's pretty you cool. Will die. Pretty cool. I think I'll cheese ball it for a bit. There's going to be a point where I think we should, like... When we get enough of like a couple armies to start cheese balling them just to see what happens, you know? <laughs> you know, like, oh, I got four Celestines. You can't do that. Unbound. <laughs> <laughs> unbound, sorry. <laughs> That's fine. The unbound tournament. Yeah. Celestine. <laughs> Everywhere. Everywhere. You know, it's really nice working on little I'm female good. models instead of working on soldier on dudes all the time. This is just like. Yeah, it's nice. It's like it's like you get more ball handling than most basketball players. Sorry, I was tennis. filing down her chest plate. That <laughs> world class, if you ask me. World class. Um. So yeah, but my car's fine now. Dice vets. Yeah, dice vets. That's mint potion saying dice vets. Some nice webs. Wow. All right. Wonder. Can I. Yeah, I guess I should. Yeah. She has like a really pointy chin. Does she? Yeah, I don't understand it. I don't know. Maybe she's supposed to be Roman or something. Do 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 Italians have pointy chins? I don't know. It's made in England, so I think everything's just a parody of every other culture. <laughs> so that that goes there like that. It does indeed. All right, let's do some gruin, gluin, and gruin. I love the glue. My day just, I, I don't think I could really deal with my day until I've sniffed enough glue. And then I'm ready to rock and roll. You know, I think I can never quit this hobby because I'll just like start getting really anxious one day. <laughs> and be like, what's wrong, man? What's wrong? Why Why are you going to, I don't know, man. I just got to like put together some monocles, sniff some glue and <laughs> some, glue. use some spray paint. Yeah. I don't know, man. <laughs> Well, it's like we were talking about primering. I mean, it's just like sometimes I get done with primering and I'm just like, I feel amazing. <laughs> I don't know why, but I feel amazing right now. <laughs> Something about the spray paint. <laughs> so, all right, that can go there. Yes. Yes. There. Stay there. Great. I got glue all over the seat. Now my guys aren't going to be able to disembark. <laughs> all right. That's why we don't eat fast food and we don't go through drive throughs on no. devil fishes. No. I can't. don't know how to clean up that. Could you imagine? Could you imagine a Chimera rolling up to like a McDonald's like, yeah, can we I get like uh, 50? 10 Grand Max? Yeah, Grand Max. And uh, yeah, could we get a side of uh, 40 large fries and uh, just put it on the Emperor's tab later. <laughs> the Emperor's tab. The Emperor's I love it. Tab. I love it. Nothing better than throwing stuff on the uh, the old emperor's tab. He's gonna come back to life, and he's just <laughs> gonna, gonna be, be like, so in debt. Who ran up <laughs> this bill? Oh, yeah. Why do I owe McDonald's? But a you know, everything dollars? he does is like free and done in faith. Like Space Marines, they don't get paid shit. No, they don't. They don't like, get paid guardsmen shit. are drafted and then killed. And like... Yeah, basically. Stand here. Why? There's probably gonna be a bullet coming this way. Stand here. <laughs> Look how cool that looks. Oh wow. Yeah. Let me look a little bit closer there. Oh, dude, her stop. knockers are mine. Do I want her? She's mine. I haven't even. Let me glue this together before all I right, share it right, with you yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you have glue. I have super glue, which is all really right, well, scary. If you want, if you want plastic glue, use plastic glue. <laughs> that's really... No, seriously, because that's because you can play around with, with the this plastic glue. No, I'm just all getting right. better at gluing things. All right, all right. I mean, super glue. There's no, there's no going there's back. No going back, man. You know, it's just, it's on. You know, it's like, oh, her head's on backwards. I guess that's how that's going to be. <laughs> no, She's possessed. <laughs> there. That's what, I, that's what I'm going with. All right. No, I'm just getting really good at gluing right now. Nice. <sighs> well, you went through a bunch of it already. Mm. All right. So that doesn't go there, does it? No, it goes here. It goes right here. Like this. 
Yes, just like that. Right there, just like that. Just like that, okay. Let's do some gluing over here. Uh, so, let me make sure I'm doing this for you guys. Can yeah, you wanted it? to see the model look. Oh, wow. Hit a uh, three. Three? Boom. Wow. That's like a super detailed model. See this thing on our back, those pipes? Yeah. I had to like glue that in separately. Seriously. That's interesting. Why does she have a hole in her backside there? Is that for the... Because the... she hasn't gotten it filled in yet. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. Fill that out. That's very nice. You know, this would make like a great... Um, this model right here would make like a great uh, demon host. Yeah. For the Inquisition. There we go. Back you want a really expensive kit bash. I know, right? <laughs> <coughs> In case you got some bucks to throw around. Next step. Dun, 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 her shoulder plates. I think those are. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm feeling better already gluing this. <laughs> man. Gotta get that glue. Yeah, yeah. So, chat, hello. We are here and live. If you would like to. Excuse me. Mm hmm. Sometimes when I take things off, if you would like to say something or comment, uh, if you are a 40k player, we are curious as to what you're working on, mm -hmm. what you're doing, what you're building, and um, do you have any questions about what Mint Potion does? Oh, uh, or Mint Potion yeah. uh, things. Mint Potion is a cool studio. We have a lot of creative freedom. It's the coolest. It is the coolest. Sorry, we're the best. Everybody else is, well, the second rest. best. And the rest. So, that's how that goes. Uh, so what else is, uh... Cracking. So my brother added on to his Elder Army. He did. What did he add to his Elder Army? To start collecting box. So now he has one. three units of four wind Windriders with the scat lasers. Okay. So they don't morale check on killing one of them anymore. Interesting. <laughs> That's very, very interesting. I was like, oh, my only hope is to just kill one bike and then hope it runs away. Because I have killed a unit that way, I think. Hmm. Uh, just like, yeah. I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> no! Where this is why I don't build from? models at home, because at home I have gray carpet. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that? Yeah. Oh, my God, it's horrible. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Just gray carpet. I have, I have built many models, and I have lost many parts of models on that floor. Are these I'm guys... sure you've vacuumed them up, or somebody's eaten them, or you've run Are across... Are these guys for serious? I'm supposed to somehow... <laughs> flip this on? What? It's telling me to put this shoulder plate on, Uh huh. but it just doesn't... Make sense? It Oh, maybe I have is to... Does it, it just require large amounts of skill and dexterity? Large amounts of skill and dexterity. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. I have to somehow... <laughs> right now she just has big ears. <laughs> I have to somehow get these shoulder pads around her big head, even though it said build her head first. There's no way. There is no... Look at this. How oh, no, you can do that. How? Yeah. Carefully. Very carefully. I would use this, though, so you can slide instead of it getting stuck immediately when you put it in contact. Well, I'm, I'm thinking I'd just... Snap it? Get it into place. Mm -hmm. And then squirt, and then the glue squirt in some glue in there. Squirt some glue on her, on her shoulders. Maybe I won't even glue them on because they just fit so snugly. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, there we That's go. That's not too shabby. That's not too shabbers. All right, so this... Okay, maybe I will put a little glue on there. Just, just, a, just a smidgen. Over here. Goes here. Like here. Uh, over meow. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, All right. So that can go in the cell. Like these. All right. <coughs> so, so far, I've put that together. Let's maybe bring that a little closer. Now we want that up. A little closer. There we go. So for Devilfish, we have done this so far. We've done the interior, front wall, the lovely cushion seats, and the back here. That's what we've done thus far. 
Now we're going to put together the burst cannon and the turret for the burst cannon. <sighs> Which should be a treat in and of itself. Yes, indeedy do. Yeah, that's not a big deal. So what's going in this devilfish? Uh, breacher team. What's going in the other devilfish? Another breacher team. You have two breacher teams? I'm getting a second breacher team. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just okay. gonna run them into the enemy's face. And if they make it, great. And if they can shoot, even better. And if not, whatever. <laughs> that's how I'm doing it. I'm just gonna run them right down the field or into something that's gonna, like threatening me. Open up the doors and blow their faces off. And, uh, you know, if that's as far as they get, that's fine. In fact, I think the last game we played, that's about as far as they got, which was totally fine with me because they did their job. So their job is to get in there, cause some problems, take out a big unit if they can because they get their weapons get stronger as they get closer. So if it's less than five inches, five or less, um, yeah, they get they get they get quite the bonus. This has uh, to be the most unique piece of assembly I have ever seen. Is it now? Mm. Is it now? It is now. All right. I'm trying to have I'm having trouble figuring out where to. <sighs> How strange. Silence, silence on the stream. Ain't no one talking about nothing. Ah, <sighs> just putting models together, but not saying a word. I'm really excited about this army. I think it's gonna work. And what's nice is that there's a lot of leeway for building into new things. Yeah. So, for example. For example. Uh, you left. Cap off the blue. Uh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Um, my infantry platoon, which is like the mortars mm -hmm. and these 20 guys over here, and um, the guard squad, I could take all that out and give myself 450 points to throw into something, which there is you? probably the next thing I'm going to do. Yeah. So I'll play this list with that out and I'll throw in my Raven Guard Shadow Strike. Yeah, thing. the Raven Guard thing. That sounds cool. You got a bunch of those dudes, don't you? Unbuilt. Unbuilt. But yes. What's Unbuilt. number seven? Hmm. He's number seven. Oh, what was that? Ooh. Do you think, like, the Celestine, when she's hanging out with, like, Gilliman, like, like she, she turns into curse a, words and stuff? Well, like, she uses curse words, but no, like, she turns into, like, a schoolgirl and she's just, like, overwhelmed with how famous he is and stuff. And she's just like, oh my god, this is Robert Gilliman. I'm not just doing this. <laughs> You know, and he's just like co totally oblivious to it. Like, who's this crazy woman? Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And she's just like a huge fan. Like, she's really stern and strict with everybody else, but when it comes to like being around Gilliman, she just turns into this little girl, you know? Yeah. And she's just like, I worship this man. He's the best ever. She's like, I'm not a man, I'm a space marine. She's like, I, kn I know. So. Your friend Hellhound Dochi has just started watching. Well, hello, Hellbound Dochi. That's how you pronounce your name, Mr. Hellbound Dochi. Uh, or Miss. Or Cat. Maybe it's a cat. Maybe there's a cat Probably watching us. Cat. Could be a cat watching us. Just judging us. Meow. Meow, meow, meow. Hmm. Meow. Yes, meow. Meow, meow. Smoking a cigar. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. All right, so that first cannon seems relatively put together. Uh, relatively. So first cannon put together. I'll hold it down for a bit. Let that glue get all gluey. Am I doing this right? Nine. Yes, you are. Probably done all right. Are you sure? I hope so. Certainly hope so, because I can tell you what, when I put these together, actually, you know, if I get this box, or when I get this box, maybe I should give you the other Celestines. Why would I need two Celestines? Don't make me smack you. <laughs> do you understand what you could do? You could have a Celestine on Celestine action. I don't know what that means. I, I actually don't even know what that means. But no, you could have two Celestines. 
That'd be cool. How do I get these pipes to line up correctly? Hmm. Is it going with her arm? Is it twisting with her arm? Well, like, I have a pair of, of tweezers if you need to grip on them real, real nippy like. Yeah, let me see those tweezers. Yeah. I also use them to pick my nose hairs. <coughs> so there might, be a bug on that. there might be a bug on them, but. Look at that. Look at that. Focus. I can't, you know what? I can't wait for Robbie to get into this game. Because I know he will. I know he will. We're going to turn his kid into a huge nerd. Huge nerd. Where is my... Baseball playing nerd. It's going to be wonderful. Bam. They're pink, too. Thanks. Yep, because I'm a lady. <clears throat> hey! Okay. <sighs> so that is relatively done. Um, now I need to... They're saying don't glue. Oh, they're saying don't glue that. Well, of course. So it seems like that? this pipe here is not lining up with that pipe there. Squish them together, maybe? But you could also see there's a stress pull there. So maybe something was bent. See that white? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like the, the white dress creases. Those are no good. Deburring like a strange fool. Maybe mm -hmm. I'll detach this pipe from this piece. Yeah. And place it in separately. Yeah. Because that doesn't make any sense. That just doesn't line up. Dude, I just had a great idea. But I'll let you figure this thing out. I'm going to the concentration. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Oh. I'm going to separate them. This makes no sense to me. Makes no sense. No entiendo. Oh, and thank goodness you brought tweezers. Right? Keep them with me all the time, because you never know when you got to grab something really small. There's a dick joke in there somewhere. Anyway. Thanks. Not about you. Oh. I would never bag on you. Mostly me. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly me. Uh. Alright. That's good. That's clean. That's cleanish. Get out of there. Go. There we go. Okay. Bing, bang, boom. Everything great here, and you. Oh, we're, we're doing very well. Thank you. Thank you very much for asking. We're doing very well. We're just putting together models. We had ball bought, bought a bunch of stuff, so we're just going to try to put them together as best we can. Look, when this fits in close, that in no way can line up for that. No, that's not even possible. That's not where even they, possible. Where are they saying that this is supposed to go? Uh, here. See that? Yeah. And it's supposed to line up to the pipe there, and you see it line up there. Oh, yeah. But it just doesn't. So mm -hmm. I have the pipe separate. Okay. Oh, I see what you're doing. Okay. Yeah. All right. And I'm going to place it with tweezers <laughs> into position. Let me check my fit. Okay. That's the only thing that's resting on. Okay. That's what it's resting on. That's what it's resting on. Can't change that. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> take your time. <laughs> you need to, if you need to take a walk, take a walk, take a breather. You know, you don't want to lose your temper when you're holding delicate models. It's always best to just go outside, find a stray kitten, punch it right in the face. Maybe I've revealed a little bit too much about myself. Maybe. But that's how it works. And yes, we are doing well. We are having a great time. Putting our models here, playing with our burst cannons. Um, now how is that supposed to, should I even try? I should try. That's gonna go here, right? Oh, right, I, I remember this now. And then that'll go over it right here. Yeah, right here. Yeah, and that'll mean it can still turn and do its birdie stuff. Cool, all right, so I figured that out, no problem. I am a genius. I am a genius. 
I can figure out how little toys work. Uh huh. Alright, just gonna deburn that right there, deburn that right there. I know I just glued these, but whatever. Off there. Right, just smooth that off. That guy's sticking pretty well. Yep. Alright, I wanna get that tank glue off of there. Not that it really matters because nobody's gonna see this. <sighs> Awkward silence with a young woman. Not too shabby, just <laughs> spelling issues, fixing the lines. I think those work. Thanks for asking. Okay. Um. Enjoy yeah. the silence, man. Yeah, enjoy the silence. I think we have some music playing in the background. Perhaps? I think so. If not, I'm sure somebody would like to put up something. Probably classical would be great. Some classical music would be awesome. Maybe a little jazz. Something calming. Something more reflective of what we're doing. You know, when we're painting something kind of Bob Rossi. Um, not that we're painting like Bob Ross. But, you know, something jazzy, smooth. Maybe some Kenny G, some light saxophone. Um, yeah. Polka would be interesting too. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah. I don't want her, you can have her, she's too fat for me. Hey! So stuff like that would be cool. Um Dude, surgery. Right? Surgery. Right? Like dude, I'm telling you. You should just go right into like neurology right after this. <laughs> that, that actually turned out pretty good. Yeah. There's no way that was supposed to no, connect. That Look was at not that happening. gap. There's like yeah. two millimeters. Yeah. There's no way. Look at that surgery. Yeah. I connect. You know what's great though is you're gonna sit down like a couple days from now, look at this, and go, "Oh, well, that's how that was supposed to set." <laughs> no, look at that gap. Those were this wing and that small little section of pipe were connected. But look at that gap. There's no way. Yeah. Those were gonna fit. That together. looks better anyway. I think that looks better anyway. Get a clearer view of that shoulder and all that stuff. I like that. Alright. Whatever. I like it. Gosh darn it, I like it. Where was... No. No. Oh, I figured it out. So, the shoulder pad that I was having trouble crimping on, it wasn't sitting in there all the way. Oh. Well, oh well. Whatever. <laughs> That's right. whatever. It looks great now. Yep. It's now where it is. Damn. Well, now I see it. See? Mm. That's what I'm saying. Now that you see it, you're going to be like, oh. See the issue? That shoulder pad that that piece was glued to isn't connected to the arm, and that's super glue. That's stuck like that for eternity. Yep. Yep. Oh, yep. now that I see it, it just sticks out to me. Oh, look at that. You could see this. See this plate under here? Like, that isn't supposed to be well, visible at all. Or... Oh, sorry. Yeah. All right. So this plate right here, yeah, isn't supposed to be visible. You see how that line right there? That should yeah. be like hanging over that and sitting on this piece. That's not. How fucking annoying! Like now it just sticks out to me. Uh, oh my god! But you know what? That's just another layer you can paint onto. That's you know? true. Maybe give her like a neat little under under armor color or something. You know, her under armor. It's funny how small. Look at that. That's my fingernail. Yeah, all right. The detail on these things is amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at least it didn't look too bad because I salvaged that pipe. Yeah. You know, if that yeah. pipe was missing as well, that would just look yeah, that'd be junk. no good. Yeah, that'd be no good. But I guess yeah, I didn't catch how I didn't seat that properly. Huh. You know, if you ever need to, while we're here and you're modeling something, you might as well just throw it up on here and take a close look That's at it. That's what I do, yeah. man. That's why I like <laughs> modeling things here. It's like, ah, uh, yes. It's like, you know, when the dentist... Yeah, when they put on the special glasses so they can see every cavity and... Yeah, that detail's amazing. That's that an exact blade. Like, and they scowl that's at That's my you. fingernail, my finger pressing it. These things are tiny. And then we paint them. What a gorgeous model. She needs a haircut, though. Yeah, she's anyway. getting a little shaggy. Kind of a hippie. That's not something the Imperium approves of. We don't like no hippies. All right, so the next step is her sword. Yeah. What are those, roses? There's wonder if, roses. I wonder if anybody's You thought it was blood spray. It's roses. It's roses. It's roses. That's even cuter. 
I, I know. Like that. That's even cuter. Gilliman probably gave him to her. Probably. That guy's a baller. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Anybody out there playing Splatoon? I know there's Splatoon going on. I was informed by the nerds here that own Switches. Um, not that, you know, us guys who are modeling, you know, Warhammer gay men for 12 and up or anything like that aren't nerds, but anybody out there playing some Splatoons? And nine. That's interesting. Nine. Nine. No? Nobody's playing Splatoons? Nine? Nine? Nine. 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 Where is leg nine? I guess that's leg nine, huh? She already has her other thigh. <laughs> She just put, why if does I made she have model, like three and a half legs? <laughs> <laughs> if I made a model kit, I would put very similar pieces, like numbered six and nine, mm -hmm. and like threes and eights, you know, things mm -hmm. that look very similar. Yeah. Just to really confuse people. But it's really important they don't fuck them up, you know? Right, 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 right. Guys, yeah, it's extremely important you don't fuck this up. Boom, door is on. That's easy. I like keeping it so it can be opened. That way you can be like, boop. I did that on my camera. I saw that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Isn't it great you can build vehicles? Yeah. Isn't that cool? I think I, that's those, cool. These were like the first vehicles I built. Yeah, that's so and cool. I built four chimeras. I could build a chimera in my sleep now. So happy for you that you can finally feel the pain of building, building vehicles like, uh, like me. I'm not um, looking forward to painting that tank red, though. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna actually, when you do that, I'm gonna have to watch you very closely because I'm gonna have to like do that work. with Guitari and all that once I build into humans. So I'll let you go through that pain and I will watch you suffer. So, which I don't think it'll be too hard for you. I think you'll probably just blow through it real quick and I'll be the idiot struggling through the whole thing. All right, so there's that. And then we wanna put this, we'll put Homeboy right there. All right, so we want Homeboy to be glued just in those parts. Okay, that's pretty easy. Uh, does anyone know if Nest Dude won the game? Won what the was, game? What, was the what game? game was he playing? What game was Nest Dude playing? I think we were hosting him before this. Oh, I'm pretty sure we were, but I don't know what game he was playing. I wasn't, you know, yeah, what was I wasn't privy to that information. Only the cool He's kids. He's probably are. still streaming. You could probably hop on and. Yeah. Hey, nice dude. What's going on? Watch his show. No, I'm okay. I'm, I'm. We're doing our show. He can do his. You know. He seems like a popular dude these days. I think he's doing all right. I think he's doing all right. So, he's doing all right. how many points are we gonna play when you finish building all that stuff? Oh, we're just gonna see how much it comes to and see what happens. All right. You know, and then you know, depending on guard or nid or nid guard or. Whatever. Need guards. Need guards. Need guards. Um, and then we get to start all over again when I get to Atari. <laughs> Let's play a 700 point game. <laughs> you have to paint your towel first. Though. I know I do. I know, I know. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have your dessert until you paint your towel. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's very true, though. I do have to do that. Super, super. True. Okay, so I should take this thing off of here. Lamb. And. Lamb. Oh, man. It's just gonna be one of those days where I'm gonna be super farty. How feel flush it. is that sword supposed to be? my car back tomorrow morning. So I heard. Yeah. Be nice. Uh, have it have all cleaned up and nice rear bumper once again. This time I will never park on the street in Koreatown. Because that's what happened. Parked on the street in Koreatown and then all of a sudden my back bumper looked like somebody was just, just, just carving out sections of it every time I went, went back out there. It was terrible. It was terrible. So... Well, I should tell Sharon. She'd like that. I should take a picture of it and send it to her. 
Make her feel guilty. Oh, that's what I'll do. I'll take a picture. Make her feel guilty, because a lot of that actually was her. You know, too. our segment on revenge, Ek Revenge is coming up next. Is it yeah. coming up next? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to throw it right in her face. Like, see, I got this all fixed. only cost me $600. It didn't cost me anything. And then she'd be like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. What can I do to help you? And I'd be like, well, I am building into Sakari. <laughs> no, no, no. Keep your pants on. I'm thinking Skitari. <laughs> God, I hope she's not watching. <laughs> I'd be in so much trouble. Uh, she's probably going to text me right now. I saw that. <laughs> sharing is caring, man. She's amazing. She's probably one of the most amazing no, people. No, not Sharon. Right? Sharing is caring. Sharing is caring, yeah. Sharon is amazing. Which and one she again? she's what do you mean, which one is she? I don't know. You make me sound like a complete... Just loosey-goosey. Like, I just throw myself at whatever young man comes as, comes my way. Which is generally true. Um, so. Now, when it comes to that, I think I'm more like Archer. You know, it's gonna be a black dude. Um, yeah, no, no she's, she's, uh, she's the one... Uh, She's the one uh, well after AI and all that. Okay. Lived with her in Highland Park. Yes. Yes. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. I guess I just have to sit and hold this. Oh, I'm not on camera. This sword oh, sucks yeah. to glue on. Blam. No, I got it. There we go. Well, I wasn't on camera. This is all you, man. Oh. What are you, LeBron James? Kobe Bryant retired? Yeah, Kobe Bryant retired. Really? He did? Yeah. I thought I heard something about that, but I don't watch sports. Sports. You were about to say, like, baseball or something. That's all right. Don't worry about it. I don't watch that. golf, though. I don't watch golf. Kobe Bryant, man? I don't watch golf. Did he retire already? What was he in the NFL? <laughs> golf. <laughs> so what I'm doing here is uh, water activates super glue. Go so by breathing on it. Helps it dry quicker. She's making a really sour face at you now. Like, Bennett, really? You're gonna breathe on me like that? You're gonna breathe on me like that? That is looking snazzy. Snazzarino. See how the super glue is kicked in. I got her other leg on. Or her thigh on. So. This is a very, very delicate oh, model. Oh, oh, oh. Up, side, 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 side. That looks good though. Side, it's looking side, good. Side, side, side. Okay. So what is the next step? Leg piece number ten. Leg piece number ten. That's this one. I have been so impressed by their uniques these days. Yes. Like, yeah, I remember yeah. the Space Marine Hero boxes. The detail on them is just like, whoa, and like how you assemble them, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So you can get these like really convex shapes, like are just blowing me away. Yeah, they're really thinking with, with, uh, with, uh, with portals. Portals, yeah, yeah, they're really thinking with portals these days. Very, very pleased about Maybe that whole not, thing. But it was the right now you're thinking with portal. Or something. Oh, 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 Even has no car box Does he? Unless he Does he know? Him now. No. He, bought he doesn't watch the show. Nobody in their right mind watches this I watched show. this show last week when I wasn't here. Did you? Yeah. How bad did you think it was? Pretty bad? No, it wasn't that bad. I was just like hanging out. Oh. You see that part where I fell on the ground and I was like, I don't need Bennett. I don't need him. It's okay. I don't need him. No, I must have missed that. Part. Oh, okay. So, um, weapon skill and ballistic skill seven. Yeah. You know, everybody says she's just awesome. She's so cheap for what she does that yeah. it's. Well, you, you should definitely use her as much as you can, because if that's the case, they're going to up her points when they when they do it like an update. Because they've done that before, where they're like, yeah, that that's too cheap. And they will totally just be like, yeah, Maybe you're they'll gonna. make everything else cheaper. Maybe they so will. So more can be played at 
smaller point value. Maybe. You never know. And getting an army is more of an investment. She's got some nice legs, though. This lady's got some nice legs. Look at those legs, Preston. You wish you got a lady with legs like that. Oh, absolutely. World class. She still she don't have her ass, though. No, Ooh. she don't have her Ooh. rear end. You're going to have to put that on there. Poor, poor girl. Got the nice legs. Yep. And a cool sword. Yeah, I like my women to have really cool looking swords. <laughs> yeah. That's the whole oh, she doesn't there. even have a butt. She has a cape. She has a. Oh, she has a cape. No She's butt. Got a cape. She goes right to cape. That's pretty cool. That's, is that now? Is that something like? Can you request? Something saints do. They yeah. just go right to cape. You go right to cape. Yeah. When you get down with a saint, man. Go right to cape. Right to the cape. <laughs> just That's cloaks, silly. Man. That is just silly. Just cloaks, man. All right. Just keep on cloaking it up. Oh, here we go. We're, we're making headway on this devilfish, man. We're really doing it. This is me cool. Hey, when your devilfish is done, you should load it up with a unit of fire warriors, and I'm going to kill it with Celestine. You want to try? Yeah. All right. How many, how many shots do you think it's going to take? I, first off, I have armor bane. Okay. So the devil fish is not a problem. Okay. Second off, I come back to life. Third off, your fire warriors can't do anything. <laughs> so I'll be nice. So what you're saying is this might be slightly unbalanced, but it's still going to be fun as heck. Yeah. Okay. Maybe, can you take plasma grenades? Is that an option or? Uh, oh no, maybe that's Eldar. Uh, I think that's Eldar. I can, I can take photon grenades yay they'll blind you but i think that's a leadership yeah no it's a initiative initiative so that's not gonna I'm help initiative any. like six or yeah, seven yeah that's not well. gonna do anything at all yeah so i'm gonna say it doesn't matter <laughs> what i take it'll be fun it'll be totally fun things. <laughs> your favorite pastime is killing my things that's really your favorite pastime. it's true it is that's yeah. why i play this game well, so one my, your things. Know, it's one of my ah. favorite pastimes too <laughs> every time uh, every time I kill one of your units, I just I feel just a little bit better about my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm using glue I normally don't, so like my work time has changed. I don't understand how long to hold things for. Uh, well super glue? Three seconds. You better hope you don't move during What's that. What's up, time. Paradoxygen? You are a regular in these parts. Paradoxygen. I'm gluing oh, together yeah. this lady. Paradoxygen. Paradoxogen makes music. I Does listen he? to him on SoundCloud. Hmm. Interesting. What kind stuff. of music? You know, electronic. Oh, electronic? Everything's man, the, electronic. The kids these days, man, they're just all into this electronic. They're all into that. Not a single one of them can pick up an accordion. Yeah. <laughs> just play. Except Weird Al. Yep. Which is actually one of the few instruments I do want to go out of my way to learn. It's like banjo, fiddle, accordion. Into the three I would like to learn in my later years so that way I could be that old toothless guy that plays the banjo you'd make a minutes. great uncle dude you'd make a great uncle right? like father no that would be a problem wow wait is she all together does she have anything in her other hand birds <laughs> she has doves in her other hand okay birds so birds. the first one is twelve which one of these things is 12? Ben's still awake? Oh boy. Oh boy. The man, the man, the delirium, the moment. Can I see your clippers? Yeah, of course. Oh, these are nice. Right? The made, I love made that grip. In, made in America, dude. Made in America. Shit. Yeah. America? America. America made these? Yeah, America made these. No. Yeah. Oh, she doesn't have her jetpack yet. Oh, that's a bad idea. Okay. These damn Does chicks. she have a jetpack, too? She's just, like, accessorized to the max. Yeah. She just went. She walked right into freaking well, Target, and she picked pack. up everything she could. She bought all the off-brand stuff. You know, she's on a budget. She's a gal on a budget. Right? Right there. Alright, now I need the hatches. These are really nice clippers. 
they feel good too with that right? spring action. Yes. And the rubber. Yeah. yeah. I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. I think this is the same stuff they make real dolls out of. <laughs> I uh, I might have uh, some experience with that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it is. Because uh, that would feel really good on my wiener. Try it. <laughs> Just don't flip yourself. <laughs> Dude, I cut my wiener off. <laughs> but it felt great. <laughs> it was so soft and smooth. <laughs> uh, we are going to get no kids in this channel ever. <laughs> it's gonna kids be... can't afford 40k, man. That's true. They only get like $4 a week. Right? Right? Oh, I caught it with my dangle. Yep. Boom. Um. Uh, so do there's do do that. Do two do. hatches done. I am. That sprue is empty. Nothing better than an empty sprue. Think of a few things. Okay, well. Like a full sprue? New models, man? Come on. Ooh, a full sprue and a milk cake. The that return of the supersized milkshake. Oh man, we need the supersized milkshake. Bring back supersized milkshakes. Yeah, bring them back. What is that website where you could start um a request or something? Or like petitions? Oh um, not like Make America Great Again. No, that's that Trump's comes. slogan. Oh. oh, there's a site where you're like we have a petition, and all it is is a site. For oh yeah, petitions. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I oh I can't remember actually. I I've used it a couple times, mainly for fast food. People do things like. We should do this or change this about the world. And I'm like, yeah, I really do think we need a triple. But when they start working on the fast food menu, yeah. it's like, then I'm into bring it. Bring back the McRib. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Oh, shit. This guy's got an agenda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, you work for McDonald's. No, I don't. I'm just a very loyal customer who loves McRibs. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Why does everybody think I'm some. Uh, bring back the McRib. Bring back McRibbers. Mick now! Mick now! <laughs> you know? Look well, I'm the, glad dude, they brought I do not want to put them on these. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Ta Cause... Yeah, you're going to have to figure that one out. Maybe you're going to have to wire it in a certain way or <laughs> reinforcement or something because there's going to need to be. That is scary. Yeah. And like I said, it's not going to be when they're on the table than when they're going to break. They're just going to break when you're driving around and you accidentally hit a pebble in the street and you're going to hear that, you know, in the box, you know, and you're going to be like, what? Glue separated. And they, yeah, yeah. yeah, this is like what this model supported on. I just don't know how I feel about it. I mean, like, yeah, I don't know what that... Just how else can I mount her to the base? Laying down. Laying down. Waiting. Waiting. Yeah, eagerly waiting. Um. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Uh, maybe? Maybe? And then maybe you could reshape these a bit around that. Are you using these for your No, I've got I've got a ton, I've got a ton of those. <laughs> I have a ton of those. All right. You know I don't use bases for my my But you know I don't really want to use these yet and like I had oh what a where would you put it? Oh, there you go. I could wire it in through right foot, up maybe between her legs. <laughs> <laughs> Just cooter Probably support. right between cooter her sport. legs. Special cooter support. If you ever have to fly through the air and need some cooter support, we here at Games Workshop got your cooter support. Um, ain't that right, Scooter? That is right. Uh, okay, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Boom, 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 glue on that, glue that, glue there, glue there. Just quickly, just quickly get that glue in straight. <laughs> I don't know, man. It looks perilous. I mean, maybe you just need to, like, step away from her for a second and just kind of think. You know, but her other, her other, her posse also is that way. Are they on these stupid things as well? Yeah, look at the, the drawing, yeah. man. The, I think the posse is on a but single. But they're attached to the legs. It's not like... 
It's not like these two ribbons. These are separate ribbons that stack on top of each other and glue to the cape right there. Like... I don't know <laughs> and that's how she's... I don't know what to say about that. You know, also, because I'm a cheater. You are a cheater. If I don't put her on these things, she's a lot shorter. Oh, yeah, absolutely. But then she doesn't have her scrolls. Yeah. I actually like this model, though. Like, it looks really cool. I think I'll just fucking do it. Yeah. Whatever. Stop being a princess. And just do it. Do it. Stop being a little princess. Get out there and just do it already. Okay, so. Have faith in the game. Have faith in the emperor, right? Yeah. Put some faith in the emperor. The emperor protects. Just go with that. Go with that, man. Go with that. That's what I would do. Alright. Blue, 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 blue. Blue, 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 blue. I like blue. I hate this. I just do not feel confident about this at all. Well, I'll tell you what. You finish it, and you get it done. You're going to have a whole bunch of confidence for the rest of the models you're going to be able to be building. I'll tell you that much. You're going to be Captain Confidence. Captain Confidence. Yeah. They call me Captain Confidence. Yeah. Why? So I glue and put my models on little ribbons. Right? I can't even say that confidently. Right, right. A little uh, ri ri ribbon. Yeah. Confident ribbon. There we go. So, there we go. <laughs> that came out nicely. There we go. Yeah. Even when I put a little bit of glue on, there's still just blue hairs everywhere. Thankfully dry and I'll wipe them off later. Alright, so that's one side of Devilfish. One side of Devilfish is done. Yeah. Now we're going to the other side of the devil. Of the devil. Oh my god. Fuck. No pressure, you're only on stream right now. <laughs> okay. And there's that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Who invented this? The English? The <laughs> this is like a British. The man with the steadiest hands ever is the one that came up with that. Okay. We're gonna sit here and count to ten. One, two, three, four, five. Ladies and gentlemen, Seven. this could be the first time Bennett completely counts to ten. Nine. This is wow. Yeah. Mission I don't accomplished. Think this is dry yet. Mission accomplished. Alright. Give Bennett a round of applause. This is the first time he's actually been able to count to ten in what, thirty years? Mm-hmm. Yep. I did it once when I came out the womb. Yeah. <laughs> After that, gone. Came out as a whim. Alright, alright. That actually looks pretty cool, but look, she's just like going, going. Going, going, going. Yeah, going, going, no, going, it going, looks going, great. Down. Like, it totally looks great. Going, going, going. I'm gonna put her on the um, dash of my car so she just bobbles. Yeah, just the bobbler. Yeah, That's the cool. St. Celestine bobblehead. Yeah. Uh, it's <laughs> actually not a bad idea. No. They made that out of metal, like fully metal, like a solid piece. You could use that as like a hood ornament. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. In fact, I think the queen has that on her Rolls Royce. Oh, no, 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 no. You're right. I do need to step away from this for a minute. Yep. And think about my life, where I'm going with it. And think about how. Oh, we didn't talk about saintly blessings. Saintly blessings. When I come back. Saintly blessings. Saintly blessings. And Saint folks. Celestine. Saintly blessings. Cool. I'm going to finish I, putting this guy together. Are you thirsty? I'm gonna get you some water, bro. Thank you, bro. When I come Thanks, back, I'm bro. gonna get you some water, bro. Thanks, bro. All right, bro. Thanks, bro. Put some engines together. That's what I'm gonna do. Put some engines together. Put some uh, drones together. We'll call the devil fish done, and we'll move on to the next commander. And then from there, we will uh, move on to uh, what you calls it. We'll move on to the crisis, dude. So this is how far I've gotten, right? Sides are done. 
Back is done. Door work. Sides are done. These doors are not meant. I guess I could pin them, but I'm not going to. So that's that story right there in a nutshell. Um, right. Turret work. Beep. Loop. Loop. Wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle, wiggle, waggle. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much pretty good. Glue, the glue globs and stuff, I'm just going to have to slowly scrape off with the nails. Um, them off of there before I primer. Take a damp towel. Kind of clean them up. Uh, King Zek, welcome. King Zek has just started watching. Welcome, King Zek. How are you doing this fine Friday? This fine Friday. Ooh. Um, I am building a devilfish. It has been an adventure from the start. Uh, very much so. Uh, I'm going to put the engines on. And, uh... Yeah, after the engines are on. Uh, well, actually, after the engines are assembled, then I'll put the engines on. And then it's the Yes. Well, this is where we're streaming from, Mr. Kaufman. Isn't that amazing? Aren't you amazed? He's amazed, folks. Kaufman is amazed. Jake is amazed. Um, which he should be, you know. He might be a world-class composer, but damn it, I can put pieces of plastic together. Don't you ever forget that, young man. But yeah, so pieces of plastic being put together. My tummy is growling or turning or something uncomfortable right now. All right, that goes in like this. This is the jet pieces. The jet pieces. Oh, boy. Doodly-wop, doodly-wop, doodly-wop. So I guess it goes like that. Yeah. That one. Cut that there. Cut that there. Time to deburr. Time to deburr. Deburring is not just to make it look good, but also makes the pieces slide in a lot better together. Get a closer fit, tighter fit. You don't get that wonkiness where the glue isn't completely in contact with one or more parts or sides of this thing, right? If I just didn't do this middle piece here, then maybe this side will be off, and then this one will be touching, and this one won't. It just compromises the entire structure of the model, which makes you look like a rank amateur, um, which I was at one point, so no worries, man. No worries. We're all figuring this out, but yeah. And then I'm going to take this and deburr that and try not completely rip that seam off. Let's do this. There we go. Actually, this is where the X-Acto knife comes in handy. Because the X-Acto knife cuts through this plastic like butter. Oh, like butter. <clears throat> so, yeah. Butter, butter, butter. How's everybody doing today? Hmm? Anybody got any crazy stories about games? Anybody playing Splatoon? I hear that's a thing now. Um, anybody got Warhammer 40k or Age of Sigmar stories that they want to tell? Um, uh. And just to remind everybody, I believe Jake will be on. I'm not sure what he's streaming. I mean, he'll be making music as he tends to do. But I don't know exactly what topic he'll probably be getting on. And remember, that's always tentative. Um, here in Min Potion. We are always riding by the seat of our pants, which is great. So you never know what's going to happen. A lot of times it's a hurry up to wait. A lot of times we're just darn late. So, yeah. That's pretty dope for us. So that's good. That's nice and smooth. And now I'm going to cut down this one here. Make that nice and smooth, or as smooth as possible, I should say. Try not to cut my thumb in the process. My gosh, where is this? You know what? I need to move this forward. And I need to move this forward. And you're going to have to see the camera. Sorry, folks. Okay. Here we go. This is better. Okay, right here. So this is what I'm doing. Man, I got long arms. I'm just putting on the engines. And once the engines are on... Oh, man. man wow. Put on those engines. Yeah, I don't think a man has ever made me feel that good. <laughs> uh, put on those engines. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, put on these engines. And uh, then I'll probably take a bit of a break. Jake's here. I saw that. I saw him. He's going to be doing, making a sound fun or possibly making some music. Oh, nice. Um, and it's going to be, uh, 
going to be cool. Yeah. Indeed. And we'll be building stuff while he's doing that, maybe. And who knows? I'll probably chill here for a little while and help him with the stream because a lot of guys here are tired and overworked. And so, yeah. Why do you hear? <clears throat> I hear funny noises. Every time something's fucking near. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 I gotta take off. I gotta deburr the dove. Yeah. It's not that exciting. You can watch this devil fish together. Yeah, as I deburr this engine. <laughs> <laughs> watch the engine be deburred. Actually, yeah. I'll just put it over here and you can watch us deburr both things simultaneously. There we go. These birds, man. Isn't that right? Some nice birds. There are some nice birds. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at, at the quality of the birds. A lot of birds in Games Workshop stuff. There's the Razor Wing mm -hmm. clock for the Beastmaster and mm -hmm. Dark Eldar. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of stuff in Sigmar that's like bird based. Mm -hmm. Those mm -hmm. like birds. They're cool. They're fun to put together and you can paint them in really interesting ways, and colorful ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what they're trying to encourage. Well, maybe I should have her like followed by Parrot. Ooh, that'd be cool. <laughs> huh. The bunch of parrots. Yeah. So where do these birds go now? I don't know. What are we doing here? No, oh, I see. This. So this. Let's do that. Just wanted to check how I'm supposed to glue that real quick. Now that I see it, I have to go for it. Put that glue on before I forget what I was just thinking about, which is glue here. Blue here, blue here, blue here, blue here, blue here, blue here, blue there, blue here, blue there, blue, 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 blue. All right, there we go. That sounds blue, man. Take that, put that there. Bing, bang, bibbity, boo, and it's together. That's the glue. That's the glue. That's the glue. Did I, did I pick the wrong one? Did I pick the wrong one? I think... No, I didn't. That's the right one. Okay. Now... How do I want to do that? I guess it has to go against that anyway. So we're going to do that. There we go. How does this... Oh, the wings are up. Okay. Oh, I see. They played off of that purity seal. I was like, what is that? Jeez, I was trying to figure out how that works, but I guess it's a purity seal. And then the birds are attached. There's all these, like, really delicate pieces attached to the really delicate Anyway, you know, I'm regretting putting this together. Of all the things I don't put together before painting, yeah, this is one thing I'm like, I should. Now that I realize... The crevices and the crevices. But you know what? I have a game Monday. And Celestine's gonna... She's gonna have to be there. She's gonna... She's gonna be your all-star? Well... MVP? She's probably gonna be my MVP. Yeah. But she's not my warlord. Oh, okay. She might be my saint, but she ain't my warlord. It might be my saint, but she ain't no warlord. Woohoo! Woohoo! That's how that goes. All right. Then I take the engine here. Boom. Done. That's one. There's one engine. There you go. Let's do the other. Let's do the other, kids. Really cool model. I might want to buy this kit again to do this model justice. Yeah, this is, that's going to be that's going to be one a fun one. I can tell you that much. Super fun. You know, but Uniques are really nice to paint put together mm -hmm. because you get, when you, you want to do a really good job on them, mm -hmm. so you get their lighting right, you know? Yeah, I bet. When yeah. they're together. I find my stuff that I paint first, mm -hmm. I always get the lighting right. Hmm. Yeah, dude, look at that. That is cool. That is super cool. Super cool. Super duper cool. Yes. Coming out of every direction, man. 
Yeah. And then I guess the last step is the backpack. I can't think what else she might have on her. Mm -hmm. Oh, so there's... Okay, so now we're on backpack assembly. Backpackicus? Back. Hmm. You know, the, the newest kit don't really have a lot of things. There's something they're doing, cleaning them up, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They really are. I mean, you know, it's going to take time, you know? It's not something... They're learning, too. Remember, Games Workshop is learning, well, too. Well, they evolve. They yeah. constantly change and make better products. Yeah. Some armies have been reworked multiple times, like Pyranid, you yeah. know? They've redone the art on them. Several times. Mm -hmm. Even the Necrons have had their art redone. You know, they don't look... They're not so bony. They've kind of given them some volume. Um, obviously, the Skatari are just something out of no, out of gosh knows where. That, they just did such a good job with all that art. Yeah. That was nuts. But that's really what started it. Like, that Skatari was, like, the big drop. And then, like, the model quality... And you know what those Tempestus Scions, too. Yes. yes oh, yes, my yes. God. Those look so good. Yeah. And I have a good amount of those guys. Yeah, you do. With me. Don't they work with these guys? Yeah. Okay. I had them. I took them out to play Celestine. And, and uh, hmm. I, I was like, oh, I want something that, like, pretty mobile and kicked ass. And I was like, well, I'm just not playing enough. Time. Yeah. I didn't really have the points. And I thought they weren't a good pick. Hmm. So I took them out and a couple other things. The Lord Commissar. Because mm -hmm. I didn't need him when I played Daplin Grimaldus. Mm -hmm. And, um. Now I'm playing Daplin Grimaldus. Celestine is just the thing I need to, like. So excited. My 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 panties are just drenched in excitement at all times. That's right, folks. Damp panties for me. Damp. Dampy. Damp me. Damp me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <sighs> This has this kit has the most fragile part I have ever seen in any kit. <laughs> well, at least they're not making you take like shaved pieces of, and then like do her hair. Like put her oh. underwear on. Oh, yeah, put underwear on. Okay, that's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> that's not happening at all. This this woman's going commando at all times. At all times. Engine assembled. Let's look here. There we go. Bing a bing, Saints bing, bing, bing. There we go. I don't know. I don't think they do wear underwear. <laughs> I don't know if anybody slept with a saint before, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they're allowed to sleep with anybody, except for maybe other saints. And even then, they can only be like in the same room and they can't look at each other. And they have to be 10 feet away from one another. Even then, it's just a camping trip? Yeah, it's just a camping trip. You know, that awkward camping trip where like you're kind of into that other person but you don't know if you should just go into their tent but you can't because then you're like what if they scream I look like a jackass not that I've ever had that experience <laughs> they scream <laughs> I really like this person but what if they scream <laughs> that they I look scream like a jackass <laughs> and I look like a jackass the worst yeah. yeah nothing makes you look like a jackass more than a woman screaming look in your vicinity this. look at this look how this is glued on it's just like two millimeters of like. That's I don't know what that. That's that's perfectly fine. I just. <laughs> it's gonna break. Like oh, it's gonna totally break. 
Like, that's why you have... Don't you have, like, a cushion thingy? Like a mold or something that you can put your dudes in? No, you don't. Okay. Well, I do, I do. Yeah, you do. I thought so. I thought you did, man. I thought you did. Oh, there's the other one. Okay. Drones, and then done. Still, this piece is not surviving. Dude, I think I have, like, a million gun drones now. And I think I'm going to get, like, a million more soon. I don't even know. I think I might just feel nothing but drones. So that way when you kill stuff, I'll just be like, me. I'm doing a little mod here. I just do not want to do this on. Explain your mod. Explain your mod. I'm not gluing it on so it's held on by two millimeters of plastic. Blast. Like, literally, it's like a millimeter thick. Look at this. This cable here. Oh, my gosh. Like, that's what holds this on, and I'm just not... Or considering I already see like dress tractors on it. Yeah. So I'm gonna take the skull here and actually just glue that directly on. That directly. Yeah. I, I just I have I don't. Yeah. <laughs> well, in that technique, I mean that's just not cool. Yeah. And of course, you got to remember, it'll get strengthened when you primer uh, and sealed up. But that initial glue is super duper important. Yeah, if you don't, you don't get that initial you don't glue. Don't do your models. Um, uh -huh. Theme song. Okay. Do, do, do. And then the amp will come by and take your soul to hell. Da, 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 da. So, kids, just so you know. Right? Just, that's a good kid song. Emperor shows up and drags your soul into hell. Can't see how that would scare anybody. Ugh. I don't understand how that could scare anyone. Ever. I don't think, I don't even think my niece is allowed to watch this show. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Which show? This one. Our show. No. Even though she's been on it? Yeah, even though she's been on it several times. So. It's just not All right. for children's. Not for the children's. This is for grown men. Grown men who like to put models together and paint. Which is super legitimate. I love it. I love it. I love it. I hope this isn't some important antenna that... Mm. Just my dice. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's all we care about in 40k yeah, is our yeah, dice roll yeah, of luck. Yeah, yeah. It's this isn't really important in the grand <laughs> scheme of things. <laughs> just everything you roll from now on is completely opposite. You're like, oh, I put it on upside down. Darn it. Darn it. This is the most fragile model I've ever put together. But I am severely impressed by it. Um, How dope the model it is. Mm. Trying to think. I don't think there was anything super delicate on any of these things. No. Pretty rugged. Yeah. I think the worst is the crisis suit ankles. Those are the worst. <laughs> You're probably right. They just have really thin ankles. They would be terrible dancers. Except for Serge. He has some great ankles. It's all ankles, man. Yeah. That's all he has is just a walking ankle. Oh, glue down. All right. Here we go. That in. Bada bing, bada bang, bada boom. Dronicus Maximus assembled. Bam. So, what type of drone is this? It's a gun drone. Gun drone. Yeah, because I was just going to remember it's one right here. Right, right, right. Now you can replace those. I didn't know this, but you can replace this with twin link smart missile systems. On the devilfish. On the devilfish, but the problem I is that was only for the hammerhead. No, it's for the devilfish now too. But that kind of makes the devilfish a threat, like a threat threat, which means they're gonna want to kill it with more urgency. Dedicated transports can be killed by like anything. That's true. That's so. very true. But I'm just saying, like, that just makes him that much more of a priority. And they already get enough attention as it is. 
so well generally dedicated transports want to they want to take them out before they transport things yeah that are in them that are in them well that's why what i'm going to do is i'm going to paint burrito truck on the side Oh, and they'll never know. They'll never know. Well, exactly. then they'll just get closer to it, and hopefully it's not a close combat unit. Right, right. And, you know, then my guys will come out throwing burritos at them. They won't know what hit them. Well, three burritos. Well, exactly. Right? Instead I mean... Burrito <laughs> oh, the emperor... Wait, burritos? Did, did, did that just say... Ah, uh, let's go have burritos, boys. So... You know, like, like those delicious, like, giant... Wet burritos. I hate you for getting me back into this. This this is a hobby. I want my burritos better. I'm having a nervous breakdown. I want my burritos. I told Preston to starve himself <laughs> to afford 40k. <laughs> uh, I said it's the only way. It's the only way you can afford this. I know. Game, man. I know, and with my appetite, <laughs> I've been able to get you know, quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah sure. I'll sacrifice. Lost 10 pounds. No. 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 Being here. No. Being here, I've slowly probably gained at least five to ten pounds, and uh, probably gonna lose my lower intestine at any moment because. Why does everything that glues onto this model glue on, like, in like a manner of like three millimeters? <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> Seriously, this is the most ridiculous kit. Look, there's just a tiny knot that fits in there. Mm -hmm. Like. Uh... Oh wow, that's fun. That's fun, dude. That seems like a whole heap and helping load of fun. How does this chick come back to life if she just breaks? I know, right? All along the way. I think that's probably in the rules. You should double check. Maybe that was the, her big weakness. If model breaks, she's <laughs> dead permanently. Are you model? Like, you're going to roll a die into her and she's going to die. She's just going to die. Like, literally just fall apart. But that's the last piece. I just got to glue her to her base. All right. And then she's ready to kick ass. Except she needs her... Her buddies. Yeah, her bud. Her bud. Alright, so devilfish. Generally assembled. Uh, I got the feet I'm gonna put on, because I always put the feet on. Um, and then once the feet are on, that's it. This devilfish is done. We can move on to the commander. Um, which is probably gonna take a little while, of course. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna switch that right off. I'm not gonna bother. Um, so when the commander and when the commander is done, we'll go on to the crisis suits. And maybe I'll get it all done today. Maybe I won't. You never know. Um, and then... Guess I'll magnetize something? I don't I don't really need to magnetize anything on the devil fish. I'll magnetize the commander, actually. We'll do that. I'll show you how to magnetize a crisis suit, which was super easy, by the way. Didn't take me very long. A lot of common sense stuff. Um... Well, actually, I might not magnetize it because I have half of my magnets, uh, most of my stuff is back at home. And I kind of want to make all the weapons consistent magnetization. I want all the poles to be the same. So that way it doesn't matter which weapon I pick up um, from the box. I could just throw it on any one of them without having to go, oh, that one won't work for this guy and that one won't work for that guy because they're equal polarities or same polarity or whatever. So, um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm now gluing her. You're now gluing her to the base. And then she is. And she I want to see what she looks like next to the army. I think she'll look really cool. I think so, too. You know what sucks? She's, only, she's the only girl in this army, so like every dude has a crush on her. I know, right? <laughs> she like, it's like, I just can't walk through the ranks without somebody asking me for my number. Right, but at the same time, during lunchtime, she gets all the free lunches and right. dinners. she can sit anywhere. Yeah, she can sit anywhere she wants. There are advantages to being the only woman in the regiment. So, well, yeah. there's her Gemini as well. Yeah, but they don't count. Yeah. They don't count. They're not as baller as she is. Yeah. They should have made him like chubby with glasses. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how, that's like the Hollywood cliche, right? You know? Well, of course she's ugly. She's chubby and she's got glasses. Um, okay. There, she's done. Okay. Dream, look. Look, dream. Look what I did, dream. Dream, look and see, look and stream. Dream, look and see. 
Okay, so there's hey, Preston. There. Yes, sir. Preston, you're not watching. That's pretty cool. That's going to be really cool. Yeah. Can't wait to see how you're going to paint that. I mean, it's going to be all based off of Victoria's Secret's lingerie colors, but that's not the point. The point is, that's going to look baller. I think it's going to look baller. I want to see what she looks like next to my arm. What a cool present she has. Right? Sitting there. Oh, that's neat. The Emperor is with you, men. Never forget that. Well, you're a woman flying with wings like an angel. I don't think I could ever doubt that anymore. You are clearly the savior of something. That's really cool. That's going to look really cool with your army. Yeah, that looks yeah. way good. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, for sure. Faux show. Where'd the other feet go? Where'd the other feet go? Where's the other feet? I was like... Oh, haha, <laughs> it's actually in here. I'm just, just not an intelligent person, that's all. That's yeah. all. 40 mil base, yeah. On the right. Okay. That's good. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> oh, these girls have names. They do. Eleanor and Jennifer. Ooh, Genevieve's a cute name. Eleanor's not, They're but like that's fine. They're like from the 1870s. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Eleanor and Genevieve. Eleanor and Genevieve. Hey. Those are some stripper names if I've ever heard them. <laughs> that's what you should have done. You should have put her on a pole. <laughs> you did. You gave me the pole. Yeah, there you go. You put out a rubber pole. Would that even... Kind of. That, yeah. You're more than welcome to play around with that idea of pole dancing paint Celestine. Look, it lodges right in there. It stops her from bouncing around so much. Just yeah. bump the table and she wiggle. Just wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. So we have... <laughs> Another completed devil fish, guys. So Look this at that. Is Eleanor. Oh my gosh. Uh, let me push this over to here. There we go. Another completed devil fish. This will be the second one in my army. That gives me two two tube carriers. Kinda jealous. I probably should buy two more. <laughs> well then I'm gonna buy a fifth chimera. Whoa, I'm gonna buy like five or something there. But yeah. Um that's pretty amazing, I think. Let me make sure this isn't just mucking up Ed's table. Okay, so... All right. So... Yeah. Here's... Careful. Your crisis, your thing. Right? All right, all right. Shoot at her. Uh, do we have dice? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Shoot at her. Okay. I need, uh... S eight dice? <laughs> All right, we're gonna shoot at her. I don't know. I don't. I don't feel comfortable shooting at a lady. Okay, so let's look at the rules here. I think he's ballistic skill three. Uh, ballistic skill three. All right. So four Jeez. shots. Strength good. five, AP five, four up. Here we go. No mark lights or anything. This is just bald shooting. Not bad. Not bad. Strength five, toughness. <clears throat> Three. But two up to wounds. Alright. So two wounds. Two wounds. Roll your saves. Two up safe. Yeah, yeah. Okay, she's safe. Okay. Alright, so now these two. Alright. Twin lengths. Uh five up. Kill your devil fish. Alright. Five up, so thank God twin lengths. Alright. Two. Two ups to wound. <laughs> One. All right. Two up. Okay. Okay. That's all this thing can do. Okay. I'm gonna all make right. a 12-inch move. All right. So you're making a 12-inch move. Cause what's yeah, your, this would be your, your turn. Front armor. Front armor is 12, I believe. Okay. I can't break it with my gun, so I have to charge. Yeah. 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 So 12. Okay. So I'm charging. All right. I make it. <laughs> yeah, you made it. That's fine. Whatever. Okay. You made it. That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> I have uh, five attacks. Okay. Six for charging. I'm hitting on threes. Threes. Oh boy. Okay, I got four. Okay. So this is armor bane. Okay. Strength. 
strength five. Five. Armor bane. Yeah. So four attacks, two at a time. So five, six, seven, eight. No. Rear armor ten. Rear armor ten. Okay, so that's one. Two attacks. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Ten. Yeah. Ten. Ten. All right. That's so, that's all my all points. Yeah, so now we just find out what happens. Well, it's not gonna explode. It's dead anyway. Yeah, yeah. I killed your. Yeah, in one round. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's good. that's pretty good. I think that's, that's her good. job. Is like I just killed the dedicated transport. So yeah. Got a little bit. Well, obviously. Well, no points? burritos for you. How many points is that? Uh, sixty, I think. Let me uh, check. That's yeah. two hundred points. Yeah, that's. I mean, not even. I don't. I haven't built the Gemini. Superior. Hammerhead, Stingray, Gunshark, Devilfish is 80 points. So 80, 80 points. points. So yeah, 120 point difference. That's so bad. I'm going to go take a break after okay. you decided to destroy my model. Yeah, um, sorry, I know you just built it. I know, right? But now it's dead, so I have to go throw him in the trash. Um, <laughs> it's so just yeah. fun because we both finished them like at the same time. At the exact same time. Alrighty. I'll be right back. So, yeah, now I am working. I guess I'll move the camera over here. Or over here. I am working on, um... I guess this is Eleanor. Eleanor is one of her saintly friends. Uh, I don't know exactly how they know each other. Or, like... You know, what yoga class they met at. But... Uh, Eleanor is pretty cool. So I guess Eleanor and Genevieve are coming back to life. Weird. But whatever. I wish my two best friends were huh? Just kind of turn. Just turn a little pieces on alien wake a I'm gonna please this intuition Do her head into her hair. As you can see, she now has a face in her hair. The next step, taking her robe, Yeah. 
starting to come together. Models are really good looking. Some pretty plastic ladies. So, 36. Leg 36. Here. You know, deeper. Deep. Oh. Don't be like Bob Ross, you know. I'm playing with my eye. Really help back me. I'm slicing the plastic. Isn't Eleanor pretty fast lady? No, I always fast. I see. I'm the best Bob Ross what he could dinner. Oh, I do look Beautiful. There we go. There we go. Putting together Celestine's host. Yo, huh? Eleanor got her leg and she's standing strong. Huh? All right, who's next? Or what's next? Shoulder pad 37 and 38. Seven. Only the pendulum. And put on this is so I don't put on the side. Yeah, 37. Here we go. Clean up those food. Let's see. Once again, these pieces are some of the smallest pieces I've ever seen in games for top fit. This plastic is really thin. I guess that says a lot about their model, model quality and strength in their confidence in their manufacturing techniques to make mass produce a fine group. I'd like to see what some of their new So 41. Has oh. Oh. Sorry. 
extremely well endowed women. I have to, uh, I've had to put together pieces on these models that are, um, smaller than their breasts. Looking pretty snazzy. And the next piece is her arm. Oh no, her leg. 42. Cool. So I noticed that there's an Inquisition symbol on this lady. I wonder if he's an Inquisitor. Right there on her belt, that eye sticking out, left of her leg there. Wonder if he's an inquisitor. Hmm. Doom, 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 doom. Thirty-nine and forty-three. Nine. Ooh, reference through. Nine. Nine. Also has an inquisition symbol on it. I wish I knew more about the floor. No, where the ladies come from? This. Their inquisition. Oh no. Oh sweet no. Hit the floor. That was a tiny. <laughs> As you can see, for it. I don't want to lose any of them. That was a bummer. They don't really give you a lot of extras. They don't give you any extras in a unique kit like this. Make sure that everything the other properly. Seriously, piece is smaller than my glue bottle.
yeah, this model never really appeared appealed to me. Um, when I was when it was first released, it was like, why are you building Gathering Storm One stuff when Gathering Storm Three just came out? Didn't you be putting together a primer? Um, but I just built this army, and I was like, you know, it seems like the perfect combination. I need something way aggressive to go along with my army. And I think this is just the Good, looking good. Let's boot on. All right, all right, all right. And we're there. Throw my fingers, I'm gonna be cut off for a while. 44 and 45. That her sword. Her focus. An interesting pick. Have a useful weapon. I guess they really want to encourage ladies to get close and personal. Is your close combat stats are just too good to be true. small but you know stay loose stay fresh and I don't know how many viewers we have or what not look at that anything for a while oh either Working on your own project or do another thing. I don't know. Her sword go okay, so her sword goes in this arm. swords in there right in there and then her bolt You know, after putting together this model, every time I see somebody else's, or these models, this whole set, Celestine and her Padre, 
like I'm going to be very critique about how they put their models together. Once you put it together, you see all the little nuances and how different this is than most Games Workshop models. Yeah, that's cool. I really like this trick pose. It's like, I'm really indifferent about keeping you. But I suppose I must. Hmm. So, let's see, what's the next is fence over here. Weird one. Preston's phone just rang and it buzzed something. Nowhere around. I need to tell him somebody's trying to tell him when he returns. Oh, I didn't bring you water. Did you bring me water? Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Sorry for forget get you water. Oh no. <laughs> I'm like butterfingers today, dude. Where did she go? These girls always run away. Oh she's no, not where I thought she was. Always run away from me. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. This is what's gonna happen now. Ben I is gonna start her. venting on stream about his <laughs> love life. I'm a lonely guy. I'm person. a lonely guy. I'm a lonely guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <sighs> Getting you water. You forgot mine. Jerk. Jerk. No, I'm kidding. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. So, yeah. Your phone buzzed. Something happened. Probably. I think you're popular. Might be your mama. Might be my mom's going, hey, you're making a jerk of yourself on stream. You weren't on stream with me. Your friend's making a jerk out of himself. I don't know. I think, I think, I don't know if I turned off my mic when I went out there. Really? Yeah, like I think most of my conversation is on stream, which is fine. It was a good conversation. <laughs> Like, we didn't say anything. Any racial slurs? Nothing. Oh, no, there was a couple racial slurs, but there has to be, because we were talking about a Mexican, and then... <laughs> oh, man, you didn't turn your mic off. I don't think so, but that's fine. That's fine. What is this? I don't put this on my devil fish. My devil fish doesn't get a sword, dude. That's mine. <laughs> Give that back. <laughs> devil fish does not have sword. What are you doing, you crazy man? All right, double fish is done. I've got some extra things on the sprues. I have so many bits now that I could probably build another army with the right, like, order. You know what I mean? Like, I could probably just build a whole other regiment of guys. Well, that's what was really nice about putting together so many Cadians at once, is, like, I have extra bits so I could, like, put together full units of weird squads yeah. you know, of weapons when there's only one in a kit. Yeah. Hey, Jake, that thing really worked. Like, okay. really worked. I'm not going to say it on stream, because that's not right. But, dude, like, so much better than the other one. You're going to definitely have to think about that, my friend. So, cause the other one, I was just like, whatever. Now, I am happy as a clam. So, we have Tau Commander coming up. Oh, why is... There. Tau Commander coming up. Uh, we're going to build the Iridium suit. I'm going to probably custom pose him, cut off some of those nubbles. Um, get them in the right place and the position. Um, yeah. So, let's dig into this, folks. Oh. See, Cal your commander. camera zooms in. I'm kind of jealous. I have the nice camera. I mean, I know this is... We can give you the nice camera sometime. Someday, I would like to have the nice camera. I'm going to give Boom. you the nice camera when you're painting. All right. That's a good idea. You had the nice camera last week. <sighs> I think I did, actually. <laughs> I think that's why I'm jealous. I'm just like, ah, oh, I kind of like that. All right. So we're going to do Iridium this, uh, Force or Battle. Gemini. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I don't know but either. I don't know either. It's friend. I think I heard Robbie or something. No, he's gone. You sure? Because I, I, I subtly smell smelled... <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that's got to be Robbie. I'm hearing a lot of F words. I'm hearing a lot of F-bombs. That's no, gotta be Rob. Too quiet. You sure? He's not yelling. I don't know. Hearing F-bombs. Hearing F-bombs gotta be Roberto. 36 and 35? How does that even remove? Oh, there it is. 
No, that's yeah. No, yeah, that is. Uh, I better cut these out first, then. No, I should cut one oh, maybe out. Maybe it is Robbie. Yeah, it's Robbie. When there's that much swearing in the building, it's got to be Robbie. The man's got the mouth of a sixteen-year-old. Ridiculous. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. Oh my god, I just did my thumb to the tweezers. Did you just click your thumb to the tweezers? Help. <laughs> uh, uh, There's some skin. There's some thumb on that <laughs> There's tweezers. some thumb on that. Yes, there is. <laughs> uh, what friends are for, man. Super glue. Super glue. Don't joke how my thumb is stinging. Oh, I'm sure it is. I'm sh you're literally missing the top layer or two of skin on it now. That's why I don't like using super glue on anything but magnets. Hey, look. Superior friend. Superior friend. Yay! Superior! Okay, so I have a rule. For every one of my Tao that you kill, they have to be sent into your reserve as love slaves for her. Okay. Okay. They're going to be running to their deaths. <laughs> And the fire warriors are gonna run. Are, are you sure, dude? Yeah, they're gonna run. They're gonna run. <laughs> and now I get to put together Genevieve. Ooh. Genevieve. I didn't Genevieve. know these ladies had names. You know, that's 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 that would be a, a, a an improvement right away in your love life if you re recognize that these ladies have names. Really? <laughs> yeah. I think if you, I think if you recognize that that the opposite sex does have a, you know, proper name. Really? Yeah. You know, that might help a bit. <laughs> Says something, I think. <laughs> I know your sister's names. Ooh. 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 <laughs> well, I, I know your your sister's name. Taylor. <laughs> uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So now I gotta glue this down. We're just we're just cooking with gas here. <laughs> we're just gonna fly through this. So what uh, what powers Tau technology? They're not gas users, are they? Because I feel like Space Marine Power Armor has like a diesel tank. Yeah, these guys are uh, <laughs> fusion. They use all oh. fusion technology. Yeah, they um. That's where the Nova charge is. It's like a combination fusion reaction, and that's why it's so unstable. Um, but. Yeah, they use all fusion fusion engines, um, and then they transform that power into something else. So obviously, pulse pulse being a bundled electrical charge, uh, rail the high powered electrical cannons basically, and um, what else they have? A lot of plasma weapons. Like their plasma weapons are super stable because of that. Like you never roll for gets hot with Tau when it comes to their plasma stuff unless you're overcharging. Um, Cool. Oh, uh, you know what's nice is um, that's how Skatari is. Their plasma guns don't get hot because yeah. they're maintaining them. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much how it is with the uh, Tau. Except they're they're just like, oh, well, you just gotta them. oil this uh, plasma. Gun. Yeah. Uh, that's the thing I like about Skatari. They're kind of like the machine Tyranid, in my opinion. Mm. And I and I really do like yeah. Tyranid. Like, if I really did have a choice in Getting another army, I'd probably get Tyranid, but we already know where that goes. <laughs> we already know the dark road that leads to, so I'm gonna put that off till maybe my fourth army or something like that. Just so there's enough time in between all of it. I'm really excited if the Tyranids get a new book. Like, that has strike forces and all that. Yeah, but they I need guess they that. got Leviathan, which is like a very nice supplement. Hmm. For the, the shield ball. Yeah. yeah, that's uh. So th they they don't have formations. They do, but they're all separate. They're not like the new format of like, you know, new. Yeah, like I'm. Well, you know, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, they need that. They really do need that. I think they should get like chapter tactics, but it's like five. Oh, for sure. That'd be really cool. Because they're all supposed to specialize in something, or they're all they've all evolved into a different direction. You know. And to have that kind of, yeah, to have that kind of something, 
on top of something would be really cool, I think, for the Tyranids. That would really so, be something. Yeah. Because what are, what are the... There's how many high fleet? Behemoth, Leviathan... Uh, Kraken, Kraken, Gorgon. Gorgon, yeah. And each one of them, you know, if you give them, like, uniqueness to it, and um, and then from there, drum up some rules for how their forces can be organized. I think they know. should just specialize in benefiting different units. Like, oh, Leviathan, it's like a C, right? So it's like, like this is the benefit, right? Or Kraken, it's like a huge monster, right? So monstrous creatures. Well, benefit. I think like an auxiliary should be like, if you field like three full units of Hormigons, no, Hormigons, the close range ones. Right. Then you have like, like a without number. Like you kind of like, okay, you get the roll to see if that guy just comes back. But that's not that how, he comes uh, back to life. But endless swarm is kind of like that when you yeah. take a certain amount of hormigons and termagons you get. But to have that as an auxiliary to a main army with those guys would be pretty dope. And then you're endless like, okay. swarm is one of their formations in oh, okay. their current. It's just not part of their codex. They don't have like the strike force where you can build. Yeah, see, they need to make that like a the thing. Core, the auxiliary. Yeah. I'd like to see the Tyranid. It'd be nice to see like a Healy Tyranid where it's like every you like all your guys or all your monster creatures automatically have regeneration. Like that's just it. Yeah, that'd be you know, and Instead fulfill of an upgrade like as long as this thing's alive, yeah. they all have regeneration. Yeah, like there you go. You know, and it and it and it has to make sense, obviously. You know. Use like if like if, if a unit composed is composed of like uh like you're saying the Moloch has like a not a very good leadership. And so you can get out of synapse real fast. Like, force a Tyranid player to play three Moloch, and then they do, their leadership goes to ten. Like, oh, something like that. Awesome. Huh? You know, I know, but that's the thing, though, is, like, imagine balancing that. Like, three Molochs just go... <laughs> Sounds pretty imbalanced. Yeah. You know? But you're, but you're, but it's like... You know, are you talking about the right creature that you think you are? Yeah, the, he's like your prime, except he's a Moloch. Right. But yeah. Do you know what he does? Yeah, he jumps out of the ground and murders everything he comes out of underneath. Yeah. Okay. And then he okay. steps on him and he eats him really, really viciously. That's his job. Job. Yeah, that's the job. So Not a have job. that, have that, and then it, like, and your your force commander, like the guy, your HQ, has to be um, a Trigon Prime. Has to be. He's not an HQ choice. I know, but in that formation, oh. it could be dog. <laughs> You know, so you theme them together. Ooh. Dude, we should do that. We should write that up. I can work. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll we'll play that out, and you'll probably it'll probably be super cheater in. But whatever. Like, why did Cal and Tyranid get all these buffs? <laughs> why did they go like top tier like in six months? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> No, that's pretty balanced. Yeah, I think so. I think that's pretty balanced. <laughs> <laughs> like it's only them. Like it's just that's it. That's yeah. the top tier. Sorry. Just, why do they keep releasing the same two races? New codes. Oh man, it's just not. The, the, the. <laughs> <coughs> so kid. So we are putting together the tow, Mandaris. Three and one, I'm getting two and what is that supposed to be? Did I miss something here? Oh, they're repeating. That's a repeat system, so I just have to go back here. Yeah, it's generally these are generally the same. Yeah, okay. You're lucky you don't have to. Put, if cow players had to put tank threads on their crisis suits, nobody. No, nobody would. I wouldn't play them. <laughs> I don't think I would have even considered them. It's not even about right. It's Man, not. those chimeras were kind of a. That was good to work. Four of them too. Those tanks were <laughs> deep. <laughs> not fun. Not yeah. fun. So I'm gluing on shoulder pads on Genevieve. I need to remember this girl's name, so I don't embarrass myself when I hang out with her. Right? That's really important, man. Really important. Oh. I just can't tell them apart. <sighs> it's also an issue. Give one of them, like, a scar. Like, you know, give him, give him scar. <laughs> Is that the guy? Yeah, that's the guy. <laughs> <laughs> 
<sighs> no, it is true. When you hang out what? with lots of Asian women, it can be very difficult to figure out exactly who you're who's talking who? to and who's who. Yeah, the who's who's the who's who's of the who's a who's. Goes on. After I put that on, and then use the arms. Okay, so put that on and then do the arms. Okay, so now I have to find. Uh, what is that? What is that exactly? Am I looking at here? Do we do? All right, let's. Ah, throw in sprues. Throw in sprues. I'm breaking the law. Don't throw sprues. No, don't screw now. Oh yeah, breaking the law, man. Breaking the law. I almost feel like I wish I was watching something while I was doing this. I know that's terrible to say, but I kind of wish we were Watch watching. Me. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. I mean, like we had like an anime going here. You That'd know, be cool and have it in like the corner and yeah. talk about the anime, like yeah. uh, MST3K. We should just watch uh, Ultramarines movie like every week. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's exactly what we should do. You know, or watch. Um, what else could we watch? We could watch like. The history of Warhammer, or something like some YouTube thing that's like about Warhammer, and then we'll just make harsh judgments about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's nobody's gonna hate that. <laughs> We're not gonna get in trouble with that, not at all. Where's her leg? Uh oh. Uh oh. Leg Missing the leg. 28. Missing, yeah, the leg. missing the leg. Paul McCartney. Anyway, Paul McCartney. Fuck, Tug Tug sure he has his leg. No, I think his his wife didn't or something at point at one point. I think she was missing a leg. Yeah. I can't remember if it was a natural thing or like a bear ate it or something like. Isn't that weird? <laughs> like if you lost a limb to an animal, you're just like, like you like lost. You did good on Earth. Yeah, but at the same time, you're kind of like my limb I, I fed know, some getting other eaten. animal. Yeah, like eating is kind of weird. Yeah, like. My <laughs> what happened to your leg, man? I don't know. It's poop in some forest somewhere. <laughs> like that would be horrifying. Yeah, being <laughs> eaten is weird. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't think that would be a good thing. So, <laughs> oh boy, Just gotta use these exacto knives on most of the stuff. So small. <laughs> like using the. Be burr would just crack this thing right in half. At least the way I have. Man, now I'm thinking about being eaten. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Like, what a <laughs> shitty way to die. Yeah, what a shitty way to go, right? Like, I mean, it's not like you're from a sl slaughterhouse, you know? Yeah, where like you knew it from the start. No, I mean, but like, not only that, but you're just like killed instantly. It's like being eaten. <laughs> 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 that is kind of effed up, dude. I have to admit, that's... Fuck Earth, man. How did we get here? Oh, I know. we did the eating. Yeah. Remember we ate ourselves to, to be here? <laughs> we ate ourselves. Yeah. Eat. We ate ourselves so to be here. Finish that or you don't start. Exactly. <laughs> Actually, more true in so many ways. Kind of hilarious. Kind of hilarious. Blue uh, all over that. Slide it right on in. Dun, 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 dun. Boom. Dun, dun, dun. Boom. My knife slipped. Oh, that's. Things have sucked. sucked. I'm sorry. Okay, not my girlfriend. Not your girlfriend, so you're not gonna get. It. It's not gonna press charges. Yeah, only girlfriends <laughs> press charges. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that goes. <laughs> only girlfriends will press charges. <laughs> I know, man, girl. Come on, man. <laughs> Piss her off. Hey. 
No, he's broken. He can't press charges. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic, Sonic's just gonna press charges, man. <laughs> That's a good philosophy. That's a safe philosophy to live by. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we are going to hell. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> that's that, right? Yeah, that's that. Where uh, the hell do I put these? Oh, there's something else. Something else. Oh, there is definitely something. Wow. Okay, so I gotta do this whole section. Ah, uh, what is this? Six and seven. Six, seven, and eight. There's six, seven, and eight. <laughs> <laughs> what, man? I'm putting models together, talking about women <laughs> pressing charges. I don't see how that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I'm gluing a leg on. Uh, uh. Oh, hi. I haven't shown my face to the camera in a while because I've just been facing these saints. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I wish everybody. Oh, we were going to talk about saintly blessings and what they do. Oh, yeah. What about saintly blessings and what do they do? <laughs> Let me glue this piece on and then I'll. Okay, then we'll really get to that. Yeah. And I don't want to lose. Yeah. So. Uh. How's everybody doing during tax season, man? This is. Okay, it's, it's, I paid my taxes. Yeah, I mean, like, I. Oh, that's next door. <laughs> I'm like, we've Is never, I've open? never heard that before because I've never been over here long it enough. Opens but... and there's like. <laughs> this machine just like I am parking here. Uh, yeah, sure, man. Uh, yeah, how about them taxes, man? What about them taxes? They're no good. Gotta get rid of that. We got, got, gotta get rid of them. Uh, gotta be a, gotta be a better way. I just don't understand. You know what I think? Uh, we should just stop taxing, uh -huh. just keep printing money and inflate the economy, and just encourage everybody to have more children so there's a reason to print more money. There you go. And then every time you print more money, instead of just giving it to people, you yeah. just spend it on them. Hey, and well, then you yeah. constantly increase the population. There you go. Yeah. 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 I think it's an A-OK -okay idea. Okay, saintly blessings. Saintly blessings. Because otherwise, if we keep, if we don't print more money and have more people, everybody's going to become poor. Right. right. We got to have enough money for we gotta everybody. Got to have enough money for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's pretty common sense, actually. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so. I mean, if there's a million people, there's only a million bucks. We only got one one dollar. <laughs> yeah. I know. And then when you spend that dollar, how are you going to make it back? Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't make money unless you got money. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, saintly blessing. Saintly blessings. Go ahead. Saint Celestine can bestow a saintly blessing at the start of each of your turns. Really? A saintly blessing affects all non-vehicle units from the armies of the Imperium that have the battlefield role associated with that blessing and are within 12 inches of Saint Celestine when it is activated. Each saintly blessing can only be activated once during the course of each battle. Independent characters that have joined Units that are affected by a saintly blessing are also affected so long as they remain in the unit. So, heroic zeal affects HQ units only. The unit gains the zealot special rule until the start of your next turn. Really useless for my chaplain, but okay. Yeah. I guess I can... Um, so these are kind of like um, ethereal things, right? Like you just do them. Like orders, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's cool. That's Fanatical nice. fortitude affects troops only. All models in the unit gain Feel No Pain 6 up until the start of your next turn. Mm -hmm. Models that already have the Feel No Pain rule instead add 1 to their Feel No Pain rolls. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah. That's not so bad So if you at play all. like Iron Hands? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, religious Fanaticism affects Elites only. All models in the unit gain the Counterattack and Furious Charge special rules until the start of your next turn. Mm -hmm. That'd be really good with my Shadow Strike kill team. Be like... I deep strike, can I charge? With Furious Charge. With Furious Charge, yeah. That's Affects cool. fast attack units only. All models in the unit gain the Crusader and Fleet special rules until the start of your next turn. Crusader and Fleet for fast attack. Crusader's pretty good. What is Crusader? Um, Crusader... Hold on, let's see if I can remember. I remember it always being dope. 
and it's one of the reason I like Black Templar because they have it. Um, you get a re-roll or you get an extra attack or something. Great point. Hold on. Let me consult the librarian. Yeah, let's consult librarians. Remember, yeah. kids, if you don't know... Rolls an extra dice when making run moves and uses the highest result rolled. In addition... Okay, this is what it is. That contains at least one model with this special rule. Adds D3 to its sweeping advance totals. That's why oh, it's Oh, that's good. dope. That's dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. worked. Yeah. Totally uh, worked. Pious Grit affects heavy support units only. All models in the unit gain relentless until the start of your next turn. Oh, they can fire heavy weapons even though they've moved. That's so That's good. pretty amazing. I like that. And then Indomitable Fate affects Lord of War units only. Wait, is it just is it just heavy weapons or an extra? Heavy support unit gain relentless, so the whole unit gains relentless. Right, but does that mean that the guys in it, I mean, like, they can fire it's, it's they can heavy move weapons? They can shoot, yeah. Any, and, and is it more, or more than one, or is that just for, that's something else? No. Okay. No. Okay. That's pretty Lords dope, of though. War only. The unit gains the It Will Not Die special rule for the remainder of the battle. Uh. Wow. For the remainder. Are any of these for the remainder of the battle? No. Well, that's nice. So, first turn, you just go, ha ha. My guy's going to keep making wounds back. Yeah, yeah. He's going to heal himself because it will not die. Does not die. Hey, thanks for this. Um, i got to, like, bite this glue off my fingers. Uh -huh. Thanks for this water, man. Yeah, sure. Yeah. What else do we got here? We have... Oh, man, the camera's been on this knife the whole time. Where am I at on this? Oh, wow, here, let me bring it back to here. Yeah, because you're there. back. We could watch your stuff, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I glued on that. I glued on her leg. I need to glue on her sword and her gun. What do I want to do? That's for this. Do what you want to do. There, there wasn't. I thought there was like a. Oh, I thought there was like a satellite dish thing. Maybe it wasn't these guys. These are just crisis. You know, uh, Dave Matthews. Dave Matthews. <laughs> what about Dave Matthews? Ben? Please tell satellite. me. Satellite. Satellite. Yeah. Secret password. Don't say that. Um, multiple build. Ripping off. The Russian yeah. cosmonaut. Ah, ah, ah. All right, put on the jetpack. Putting on the Ritz. Boom, boom, boom. You know that song is also in Young Frank. Did uh, Ritz Crackers ever use it on a, in a commercial? Oh, absolutely. I'm pretty sure they did at least all the time. They should have. But not Ritz. <laughs> yeah, but not Ritz. So this one, this okay. little lady, this okay. little lady, okay. she's so pretty, she's so pretty, All right. little pretty plastic lady, she's so itty bitty pretty, <laughs> she's got a gun and soul, and I'm a ditty, not pretty plastic itty bitty lady, with them armored, armored <clears throat> titty. The new like faction that. in and twenty k armored has sold out day one. <laughs> if you have seen armored, <laughs> she's so pretty. This one's name is Genevieve. That one's Genevieve. I'm gonna we're gonna have a beauty contest after this to see who's. The prettiest best friend of Celestine. Oh, okay. If it's Genevieve or if it's Eleanor. Alright. <coughs> that, that, that's. We're gonna find out. Perfectly normal. Do, I think. <laughs> I did it with my Ninja Turtles when I was younger. Was, uh, you married them? You married your Ninja Turtles to. Wait, you did a fashion show with your Ninja yeah, Turtles? Yeah, I, I did a. 
beauty contest between them. Really? And who won? The Shredder. The Shredder? That makes sense. That's Shredder always wins. Yeah, Shredder always wins. The Shredder always wins. What am I looking for? Little satellite dish guy. There it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. What well, does the satellite dish do? Um, I don't know. I don't really care because it just looks cool and I can just say, yeah, this is what it is. But I don't know. <laughs> I honestly okay. don't know. Cool. When it comes to like crisis suits and their support stuff, I don't really care. Like I'll glue whatever looks glued to, cool to it because it's the weapons that really change the most. I mean, like I can't remember if this is like a targeting relay or, or a I don't know, mark light or multi tracker or something. I don't know. And nobody really cares. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, nobody really cares. It's like, what does that guy do? Uh, he has target lock. Okay. Is that what that satellite dish is? <laughs> sure. For today it is. Sure. <laughs> yeah. When it comes to like <clears throat> some of these little bits and support stuff, I use them more as uh, cosmetic. It's the weapons that I'm mostly concerned about that I want to make sure I can swap in and out because. To be honest, that's what I'm using all the time. So, I'll be using the guns. Yeah, see, that looks so much more dope. Oh, there's satellite tweezers. dish there. Tweezers? Oh, they're over there. I'm gonna um, add them. Cool. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so if I put... Wait, 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 wait. I think I just came up with something really... Did you invent the best strategy ever? In the universe? I just might have. Ever? Ever, 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 ever. We call it the Preston Krieg. <laughs> the Preston Krieg. <laughs> Preston Krieg. Dun, dun, dun. Mr. Blitz, what is the name of the attack move? This Preston Krieg. This is the Blitz Krieg. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. I found the bit that I was looking for. I found the bit I was looking for. I found Boom. it on the sprue where it was all along Boom. before I cut it off and it hit Boom. the floor. Was and I lost my soldier's arm. But my Hoover vacuum, well, it did do harm. <laughs> Cause I'm a 40k player and I drop my bit. Sometimes I even lose my shit. <laughs> because my dice roll shitty and that's the game of life. I ain't no chaos fanatic. <laughs> I'm just a plastic crack addict. <laughs> and I like to put together 40k models for you. I uh, should do have do do do. So what I'm gonna do is... Do do do. I'm a genius, Doug. I you am, are, I are you? I'm totally a genius. Me I just too. thought of like the coolest little fashions. Me too. If you're a genius, well, I'm one too. Yes, that's absolutely true. Because that's not fair. Yeah, right. No, I get it. I get it. <laughs> and everybody else automatically has to be. Yeah. Totally fair. Preston. <laughs>